You know he did. Hey, what's Obviously. good, party people? It's the Killer Time Boys, oh, and we are back at it once We're again. Back. I am Corey. We got Ronaldo. We got Reginald up in the whoop, house. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We are back after a two week hiatus. It's only been yeah, one week. A, no, it's been two weeks. It's been two weeks since you the episode. Decided to abandon me. Y'all yes. wouldn't give me everything to do it yes, on my yes, own. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, I could yes. did it on my own. Well, we took shot one glass? week off. We took one week off. I forgot my shot glass. Well, now you gotta go get it. At least I got. No, I, I, see, you gonna go get, get it? You get Just it drink straight out the bottle. Don't. Oh, I'm not y'all ain't gonna be gangsters. No, y'all ain't gonna be gangsters. Other, okay. other people come to my house and drink. So why would I drink straight out the bottle? For, who house is this? I don't care. Do you and drink still, milk out the bottle? No, out the bottle. No. Oh, Only time I drink out the bottle from the refrigerator if it's the last corner or something. I know I'm. I know I'm gonna kill it. Right there, third drawer or second drawer from the top. Yeah, second drawer. No, to the right, second yeah, drawer. Second right drawer. Right there. Jesus yeah. Christ. You I thought you, you been thought you before. Had, yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? You, 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 you brand new shot glasses and alcohol. You know what I'm saying? I took mine out my glass. So how are you, Reggie? Since we doing this, you know, we kind of off kilter. Something's wrong. We record for a week and we act like we don't. We ain't been Y'all here. Y'all ain't never been here. At least, look, I'm you actually came prepared. Ready. Well, you came I'm prepared. Normally, Reggie it'd be walk, me. <laughs> Reggie walked in my house. I, got, I, got, I think we we met each other here about about five twenty ish. Yeah. Reggie goes straight to my bar. He says, "Hey, he goes straight to the bar." Yeah. Yep. Like yeah. Hello? I'm home. You are home. And my, just, my house it's, is your it's home. Always, it's always this way. It this is, is how man. I do things. Thank you, sir. You are a gentleman and a scholar, man. If I've ever been you to your house, saying? just know that I'm going to go to the wherever you know the alcohol is. We got, we got the... And if you don't have alcohol at your house, I'm nine leaving. times out of ten, I'm going to bring some. And then I'm going to go to where the alcohol is at. I kind of feel bad for having alcohol at my dad's party, but not really. Because I need Ooh, it. Ooh, that's where we're going to go with this? Because I need so we it. Got, okay, so did we get it? Is, we is today, is today gotta, going gotta, to be a long episode? We, it might I just be, we got know. a lot of freaking recaps. Oh, right. I, I can't, can't wait for next week's episode, though. All right. Yes. So look, so shots come on. up first. Shots Let's come on, get Reggie. this out of the way. Reggie, Reggie taking control. Look at you. Let's get this out of the way. I got to see y'all boys, Somebody man. has to be in control it's, it's or something. It's been a minute since we got together. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Ah. We can live it. Let's go. So. Who wants to go first? Go ahead, Corey. Actually, no, we're just doing a Corey, recap. Yeah, Corey always Sword always sweet. sends it to everybody else. Okay. You go first today. Reggie is in charge today. You want to sit here? No. I <laughs> know. Oh, <laughs> All right. So, um, I t- so we had my dad's birthday party. T- was it now two two Saturdays or two Sundays ago? Just keep on going. It's been a l- it's been a crazy couple of weeks. So. Uh, my dad just turned seventy. Happy birthday, pops! Happy birthday! You know pops. what I'm saying? Happy late birthday! He turned he turned seventy. Super cool, dude. Um, greatest man I know. So he um, he all the brothers and all the family came out, uncles and everything else came out. So everybody was here at my house on Saturday. We dealt with that. That was a lot. Way too much food again. Dealt with that? Yeah, uh, it's okay. a lot, man. Like right. it, it's okay. it's a lot. This like, is going to be a good. It was recap. a lot. It was a lot. You know, stressing y'all out, trying yes. to put it all together, trying to put everything so that, together. So that's what it means. It yeah, means it's a lot. like the number of the party kept going up. First, it was twenty five people. It was supposed to be. Well, I'm sorry, I digress. So Saturday was here, which is, was the only thing it was supposed to be. It was supposed to be close friends and family here at my house on that Saturday. What it turned into. Was a, a family reunion, a, basically a family, a community, a party at the community center in my dad's neighborhood. Uh, my stepmom's like, it's gonna be seventy five people, so I prepared food for seventy five people. Maybe fifty showed up. <laughs> I don't, Corey. Corey, you, you prepare you food are, like the three hundred was coming. I was through. about to say you did not prepare food for seventy five people. So what I did not know, my, my mom's came to me. She's like, Corey, you know one pen of those fit, fit, feed fifty people. I said I didn't know that. Well, and I, I had like five pans of baked ziti. <laughs> five? Yes. I had five yes, pans I would of give you ziti. that. And what else did you have? Because well, don't we act ordered, like we only ate baked ziti. We ordered catfish. We How, ordered fried chicken. Okay. Um, and they had salmon there and salad and fruit salad. You know what I'm saying? Boy, this shit was And there live. was so much food This left. party was live. I don't understand. I do have a couple questions. So you ordered the catfish and, and, the, the, fried fried and chicken. the fried chicken. Yes. Why was there already chicken there? My mom was afraid that there was not going to be enough fried chicken. 
So she bought more fried chicken. Okay. My stepmom. And, and then there and then there was baked chicken. Yeah. Oh, he made baked chicken as well. I forgot about the baked chicken. Yeah, yeah, that's what I the mean. guy we hired. Well, it was Kalisha's uncle. He made the baked chicken. And, and okay. Uh, first of all, shout out to Uncle, uncle John. Johnny. Uncle John. John. Hey, Uncle John hey. did the thing with the catfish and that hey. fried chicken. Hey. If y'all need a chef, if y'all need a chef, John Bigelow, man. Somebody you know after though. Oh, yeah. that's uh, ah, that's the pizza. pizza. Go get it. Yeah. Y'all keep talking. Y'all so keep no, talking. we can wait for you. So then after that, well, it don't matter either way it goes. So. The catfish was phenomenal. That shit was good. As hell. That shit was good. I don't care what nobody so what, got to So say. what I did, because it kind of got a little soggy, because like it was covered. You put it back in the air fryer? I put it in the air fryer. How did you know I put it in the air fryer? Because <laughs> that shit's a secret code. That <laughs> shit is Chico. the secret. I, yeah. thought, I thought I found something Chico, out. Apparently bro. not. Apparently not. No. The secret is out. <laughs> Warm up your catfish in the, the air fryer. Yes. That shit comes Don't out. Don't put it in the microwave. Mm-mm. If you got an air fryer, which I hope everybody does. I think everybody in the world's got put air fryer. Put that shit now. up in there. Bang, like, gone. He done ran outside after the pizza lady. Yeah. You're on a bumper. Um, but yeah, that's that's the the cheat code to warming up shit is throw that shit in the air fryer. Right, hands down. But that shit. Is but yeah, he good. when he said he had a, a lot of big Z, that shit was a lot. Like I didn't even see all that big Z. I took a pan home and we probably a didn't. Pan? Even, we took I took a whole pan home. I took a whole oh. pan home and I don't even think we ate half of it. A third of it. I don't. Yeah, I don't even think we ate shit a quarter of it. A really. pan. You know what I mean? Like, I took a right. pan. Like home. that shit. That shit was a lot. It was a lot, man. Was and a lot. and your headphones over there. I was kind of. I got pissed off. Don't say kind of. I was highly pissed off that yeah, I spent so why? much money. Because I spent so much money on food, man. I know. I spent so much money on food, mm-hmm. and for the food to go to waste. Yeah. I told you <sighs> to pull up over there on Main and just be beep, beep know, and man. just drive. And, and then the cold part about it is, is it's one thing when you just want to to you do know take care part. of everybody and mm-hmm. do your part. Like, hey, let me get this food and make sure. But you're being told that. It's that this is the amount that you need to yes. prepare. Yes. And then, like, I don't even think, like you said, like, you were cooking for 75 people. I don't even think 75 people came. I don't even I, think it was 50 I, people. It might not have even been 50. I think I was over, I'm giving it 50, but maybe 40 people. I think probably. You know uh, what I'm saying? It, like, maybe. Like, yeah. on the light side. Yeah. Right. So, and, that, and that's, but you know what? The most important thing, my dad had a wonderful time. Yeah, and he at was, the end of the day, that's all that matters. Yeah, and that's all, all that matters, man. He, he and thank y'all for y'all help that day, man, because we, we mm-hmm. really, really needed it. And, and it, y'all, family showed up for us, man, and I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, so then, to, to restart my hectic week out on that Monday, well, that Tuesday, I took Kalisha and Judah to the airport so Judah can okay. go hang out with his best friend in Florida for the week. Then go. I went to California for work. Mm. Came back from California on work from work on that Thursday. Caught me and Danae called a flight to Florida on Friday <laughs> on, on, on Thursday, Thursday night. night. On Thursday That's night, right. we got in. I got in at six. I got uh, back to the job at five thirty. Got home at six fifteen. Mm. <laughs> Let's go. Packed. <laughs> took a shower. <laughs> went to Danae. Got her. Let's go. We at the airport. Yeah. So then we um get to Florida, man. St. Pete is so dope, and I love and I understand. Like I don't, I know I know what you, I'm talking about, Broderick. Mm-hmm. I understand that you love where you grow up. Like, we love Las Vegas. This, this is where we grew up. This is what we know. Yeah. I understand why he likes St. Pete now. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it was such a dope place, man. That's his, that's his place. That's his place. But, I yeah. like, being a visitor and outsider, I understand why he loves it out there. Oh, yeah. The beach vibe is just the chillness of it. I don't understand why people in Florida are crazy. Oh, my God. It's uh, just so nice out there. Dude. You know what I mean? Like, it's, so, feel- it's too pretty to be upset? Yes. yes. Why yes. do people get shot in Vegas in the summer? Because it's Cause hot. hot. Okay, that, it's so mellow. Chicago out there. too. Shit, People go hot. crazy. I'm just saying, like, think about, think about, like, San Diego. Oh my gosh! Like, you know what I mean? Like, I've been San, to San Diego. Well, I'm just saying, you don't, <laughs> but, you, but you don't hear like crazy Shit. stories. Well, Shit. I mean, it is yeah. Yeah. but I'm just saying, like, I don't understand why why people hey, in Florida oh, are crazy oh, like damn. that. Though, yeah. like, it's, gotta, it's, all, it's always down. like crazy right. Florida, man. I gotta write that one down because we're not so, there. So yeah, man, we had we had a great time, ate some good food, um, and it's funny, man. You know, he got. I finally got to meet all his friends that he's been on FaceTime with for the last two oh, years. Judas friends. Judas friends. Oh, yeah. So, you know, Carlson, you know, his brother, little brother. So they became best friends like two summers ago when Rogers, when Carlson came out here. They became instant best friends. You know, like, like that stepbrother scene. Mm-hmm. Did we just become best friends? Yes. Yes. That's what happened with them too <laughs> like, when, they, when they met each other. That Spider-Man meme. Yeah, man. Each other. So, you know, for the last two years, 
They ain't never seen each other. They, well, they met each other once. Oh, okay. For the two months that the Brothers Little Brothers was out here. Oh, that's but, right. But ever since then, they can they, they haven't seen each yeah, other. So it's it FaceTime homies, gaming yeah. and everything else. Yeah. So Carlson's friends, two of them, became Judith's friends over these two years. Yeah. There's four of them all on FaceTime together. So we got to hang out with the like they hung out. We hung out with the parents. Oh, like, really? It, yeah, like like you you got took on a play date. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. Look, my like, son flew me yes, to Florida to for and... a play date. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ended up at a, at a house party on Friday to, for the Olympic opening game, okay. opening ceremony, and right. Danae got to meet some girls out there about a little bit a little bit older than her, but they hung out like. It was a cool little time. Then now they're like, "Oh, we got to come to Vegas." Like, yes, please come. We'll we'll return the hospitality for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Come, right. come, come, enjoy Vegas. But it was a uh, it was good, man. I didn't, I actually needed that little little getaway. Um, I realized on the trip that my son doesn't love his dad no more. What do you mean? <laughs> so you better make these fast. We ain't got all that. Well, I guess so, we do. Fuck so, it. We got to make up for two. So for last week, he so. um. We got time. You know, being a family of four. Okay. And get in the hotel room. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we usually try to get a pull out bed, pull out couch, and two double beds. Okay. Okay. Back in the day, in his littler days, <laughs> please don't say what I think you're going to say, but go Kalisha ahead. Kalisha would get her own bed, right? <laughs> then I knew. And me and Judah would kind of share the bed. I knew. Okay. Where you go. <laughs> me and Judah would kind of share a bed in his littler days. So I get there and I get in the bed, right? On the Saturday, oh, I get there, I get in the bed. The first night's cool because I get there early and I'm sleeping and he's up. And then Saturday, one of the nights, Friday night's been nice boy house. So Saturday, it's all of us in the hotel room and I get in the bed. And he's like, yo, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all finna beef about the bed yo, right now? Like, yo, yo, what are you doing? Because the day is on the pullout couch. That's hers. Mm-hmm. He's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm about to go to sleep. He said, "Why aren't you next to your wife? <laughs> like, yeah. Man, like, why are you in the bed with me? Why are you in the bed with your wife? Why aren't you? In, why aren't you in the bed it's with your good, wife? It's got a good point. He's like, dude, this is weird. He's like, dude, this is weird. I'm like, so I can't sleep here. He's like, no, go with your wife. I was like, <sighs> okay. <laughs> it's so, not that he doesn't love his dad. It's it's you know, he, a no, very valid question. It, it, yes. Well, I like to give Kalisha her own space because I give her own space. Because you sleep well. Yes, I sleep very. I and mean, the beds are smaller, so I give her her own space." It's two things, Corey. Number one, my son doesn't love me. No, he's a growing boy. He doesn't yeah, want to cuddle now, with his dad. I'm not like, gonna cuddle with my and son. For, probably for the same reason why Kalisha doesn't want you sleeping with her at, at night sometimes because you're you're super wild. Yeah, he's probably thinking the same thing. Yeah, look, look, Dad, she signed up for this. I fucking <laughs> did. Yeah, I don't. Nah. You go over there. <laughs> you, she signed up for this. She must like it at some point. Yeah, so. you go over there. So yeah, that was it. This brings up so many awkward questions Come that on. we're going to have off the air. Okay. <laughs> because I don't want to talk about my nephew in this sense with everybody to listen. Hey, but like, man. my nephew's a growing boy. Like, yeah, what nah. if you wake up with some morning wood on your back? Then what? <laughs> I, <nah>. <laughs> <laughs> then what? He's I, at I, that first, age, first bro. First off, it's happened before, okay? Oh, hey, get your ass on. off. Get your ass off. Come on. God damn it, son, move. Son. And I had to kick him out the bed. Like, God damn it. It's been mornings. <laughs> well, that's why That's why he, yeah. he don't want to repeat yeah. situations. It's been mornings. Corey. Like, when, when that stuff first started happening. Corey. When it first started, it's, when it first started happening for him. He would uh he would just come out of come downstairs, come out of his room. Like, yeah. dude, hey, what's going hey, on? Hey, yeah, I can, sit, I can go back upstairs that. and calm down for like five or ten Count minutes, dog. 10. Yeah, <laughs> like take, yeah, like, I had to explain to him, like you just can't like you you know, you're going through changes, son. You just can't come out here all willy nilly knocking <laughs> shit off the counters. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You can't do that shit though, no, man. <laughs> you gotta let your body calm down a little bit. And once your body calms down, you come out, you hey, know what I'm saying? Come on downstairs. Yeah, yeah, come on down the stairs, man. So yeah, that was my last two weeks, man. Who's going next? I'm done. Court Ronaldo. Um, yeah, man, we did the thing with. with we with, did the thing. I'm saying we did the thing with uh, Corey and his pops. You know that was cool. That was a fun time. It was um like you said like at the end of the day it's just 
I'm just happy he had a good time. That's it, man. You know that's, I mean? that's what it's really, all that's about, really bro. What it's all that's about. it. It's good man. seeing him. You know, we saw some people that we haven't seen in, Jesus. in forever. Up churches, oh, uh, Pastor God. Up Church. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. Seen I, him I feel kind of way about my dad calling y'all renegades, though, but I'm going to take that up with him. It's all good. But, uh, first of all, because you're a renegade. I wear it like the a badge. Yeah, I'll renegade. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, thanks for noticing. Yeah, facts. But I will say something real quick. I'm sorry, Bernardo. No, you're fine. The way he acknowledged every single table, damn near, and almost every single person. Yeah, yeah. Was so hey, dope. All, yeah. He know he he has a memory. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. Yeah. He knows what no, he's yeah. talking about. Yes. 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 Like, Go ahead, Ray. I'm, Ray, um, Ray. I'm sorry. But yeah, that that was that was cool. And then um, yeah, last weekend I went out of town. Uh, we had a, a death in our family. My uh, uncle passed away, so I, I went out of town. Me and um, me, and my mom, my other uncle. You know, my aunt. You know, a couple of my cousins. We all went out of town. Yeah. You decided this kind of this kind of sounds like I'm not an a shit kid. No, 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 no. But, but but Reggie Reggie opted out, and I mean I understand <laughs> yeah. why. In after hindsight, going, after going on the trip, in hindsight, it was probably a good <laughs> for choice. the best. Yeah, it's probably a good choice. <laughs> hey, um, Corey, when he tells you about this trip, so so <laughs> I'm gonna Jesus. I'm gonna give you just a couple of bullet Highlights. points. So I didn't, I, Reggie. I didn't even tell you about the shenanigans that had that I had to deal with in in shepherding the herd. <laughs> you call the herd, yeah. That, hey, that's what I call and, them. And shepherding, hey, is, you know, my uncle and my mom through the airport. Oh, oh on the way back. No, period. Oh, oh, oh I get it. Because yes, okay. Because I'm mm. I'm the only. I shouldn't say the only adult because I'm not the only adult. <laughs> but but I'm the only adult. Yeah, but I'm the only adult <laughs> on this trip at see? this point. Hey, look. So see? I, hey, <laughs> hold on. I want I want everybody so, to realize shit. like this is something that I deal with every day. So I mean. <sighs> We That's love, right, right. Cause, we, cause we love, mom, mom lives with you. That's yes. right. We, so we daily, love, I have to deal with this. Like we, yes. as, as you get old, as our parents get older, you know, we love our parents, right, but right. then you still mm-hmm. could get to this situation where you are taking care of them. Of course, yes. you know what I mean. Which isn't a bad thing. No, but, but then there's certain the moments. Role, the roles are reversed. Yeah, but then there's certain moments like going to the airport and getting on an airplane. <laughs> With <laughs> with somebody nice. that is, you know, sim. She's not handicapped, but you know, I mean, she's, she's, moving, moving, she's slow. moving a bit slower. Yeah, she's yeah, moving she, slower. She's she's like, hey, she ain't for the bullshit. Yeah, no she's movement so limited. Every little, every little thing will irritate her. Also, so, so bro, we I get the tickets. I gotta make sure they get their wheelchairs to the air to the <laughs> thing because they're not walking. Because y'all know, yeah, you, you know, they McCar- walking through McCarran. McCarran's like walking through yes. a mile. You yeah, know what I mean, like that shit is a long right. walk. Yeah. You get to mm-hmm. your gate, so they Same they did their thing, you know, getting them all to the air to the the gate and whatnot. But it was just such an it's a task ordeal. Like yeah. like Reggie had said it, he's like it's like you're herding sheep. Hey, like you know what I mean? Like, 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 like come on, like come hey, on, come on, come look, on, come on. Let's, like, let's Corey, do this. The easiest way to, to for you to imagine it is imagine taking two three year olds through the airport. That's be- that's kind of what it was okay. like. That's kind of what it was like, like. Damn, I gotta. You want me to do? Fuck. What? Yeah. 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 That's what it's like, and it's not. And it's not so much that they're so busy, but it's just like mom is like, ask them where my wheelchair is at. (laughs) Fuck. Can we? I need your ID, bro. I just need your ID right now. And then they do this and they do that. Speaking (laughs) speaking of ID. Oh shit. So so we the the flight there wasn't that bad. You know they like McCarran took care of them. You know like Mm -hmm. they got their wheelchairs. And then when we got off the plane in Kansas, they had people there already that that that. You wheelchair know, you back off soon 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 as we got off the plane they had people there with signs they jumped on their little wheelchairs and they took right. their baggage claim boom easy um so rental car we get to the rental car place because it's not just me flying like all of us run on the same flight my aunt you know uncle's uh, mom no, uh, and john a flew too so, okay so my aunt six, john a, it's five or six of y'all it's five of us okay mm-hmm. so we're all there we gotta go get the rental car because my mom got a rental car my aunt got a rental car so my Aunt and my uncle, they rent a car because he's got to go to the hospital do dialysis, mm-hmm. which was a whole nother thing, too, because <laughs> we had to figure out when he can do his dialysis, right. if he can do it here, if he can do it there. Like, that was a whole... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. when, you, when you talk about how you had to plan and do get the things together for your for your dad's birthday party, getting the stuff together for this flight, like, literally just flying. Uh-huh. 
Like, bro, Ronaldo like, was stressed out. He called me. He called me like three or four times. I was like, "Y'all gonna have to figure it out." Like, like because, I'm tapped out. Like, but like and the he first, got mad at me when the first night he called me, he was like, hey, "I found these places for us," and I was like, "Call mom," because he right. said he's not going. I'm like, "Well, damn, <laughs> thanks, thanks, bro." Yeah, I'm like, "Well, like, damn," but because as soon as she, soon as she on, do it, as soon as, on my as, own, soon as she sent, as soon as she sent the days and shit, I went right to my <laughs> tablet and pulled it up. I'm like, "Okay, I got flights. I got blah blah blah. I got hotels." He's like, "Nope." To, no, not to me. To his credit, he took the last minute trip to go get moms. Well, yeah, no, no, I mean, no, no. He, but he had I, already and, went. And, yeah, and it's and it's and what it is is I wanted Ronaldo to see what I deal with. Oh, normally he died. Hold on, he didn't die. Yes. Oh, yes, he did. He got drafted. Oh shit! Wow, that's wonderful. So we're watching the NBA draft right now, and there's a um a player from Kentucky who was going to the league. I guess he passed away this year. I'm not sure of what. But um, um they when? did it. I wouldn't have he, he passed. He passed. It said 2021, and um, the NBA did an honorary. Um, oh, he still got drafted. Drafting for him and his family. His mother got to go up on stage, and it's, oh, it's, that's it's dope. actually a very, very beautiful moment. That's right. dope. Yeah, he died um, at 20 years old. Yeah, R.I.P. to Terrence Clark. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. beautiful, man. University of Kentucky. But mm-hmm. no, this is right. Ronaldo's chance to experience what I have to go to through normally mm-hmm. every day at home. So it so never we, oh, it's your turn, bro. Right, right. So we land, we go get the rental car thing, and this is another thing that I noticed about them when I say them, my mom, my aunt, and my uncle. Mm-hmm. They I mean they're you know, siblings. brother and sister, they're right. siblings. So they, you know, nitpick at each mm-hmm. other, they, you know, argue back and forth of all the time. So I'm doing my best to separate them. Uh-huh. Ma, you Stay over here. Yeah, you stay over here with me, and we're going to focus on what we need to do. You let them focus on what they need to do. Right. So when I say, when we go to the rental car place, I've got our car reserved. Me and my mom are going to go pick up our car. Mm -hmm. My aunt and my uncle, they're going to go pick up their rental car. Yeah. We're at the thing. I'm I'm doing all the paperwork. The dude's signing everything. I'm signing everything, you know, talking to the dude, you know, what car you want, blah, blah, blah. My mom's just sitting there. She's looking at them, and then she sees, like, this my face. aunt's got my aunt's got like a look on her face. She's doing some stuff. She's looking through the bag. My uncle's sitting down, going through some stuff, and she's just like, "I need to go see what's going on." <sighs> no, you don't. Sit down. You need to sit down. Sit down and, and let them figure that out. No, I yeah. need to go see what's wrong. No. With my and you can't tell it. You can't tell it for too many when times. He, when he said, out. when he said, like, imagine like <laughs> going with like three year olds. <laughs> you know how little kids run away. <laughs> That's what you did. And you'd be like, "Why the fuck?" <laughs> and you see people chasing after him. Like, where did she get this speed all of a sudden? Like, it's the fast. Who boom. are you? Yeah, exactly. All of a boom. sudden, she didn't turn in the wheelchair. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're asking why. No, I'm saying you're uh. like flat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so she, yeah, she like, no, I need to go see what's wrong with my sister. I'm like, okay, well, I'm talking to the dude. I, I, I'm getting our rental car. She runs over there, talks to her, whatever. She comes back and she's like, Unc- uh, my uncle's name is Vince. Vince can't find his uh, ID. So they can't get the rent a car, da 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 da. Because he got it's under his name. It's under his name, and he you had know, to have ID because he got on the plane. You have to have ID to do this and this. But he had to have some kind of ID. So they he thinks that they lost it once he checked in because he got on the plane. It was, it was a nonstop flight. Yeah. So you know how you have to take off your shoes and all that stuff. He probably showed his ID. This is this is what they're thinking, but I'm gonna we're gonna get to that. No, so, we're gonna get so, to what actually happened. So he showed, so he thinks that he showed his ID. And then you know how you put it like in the bin and stuff like that. He thinks when you, he, he the, think he, when you go through the escalator. Then when you go through the I metal don't know detector. That part. I'm just saying, yeah, law, whatever. Yeah. TSA oh, pre-check, like a, yeah, whatever. No, 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 no. Because I put everything back in my bag. But yeah. listen, that's so, what normal so, people so do. He think, so he think he left it at the at the <laughs> scan through or whatever, right? So my phone rings. So no. So can we, I interject so, right quick? Because now my phone has rung. So they called you. Why is your I'm phone in Vegas? Why is your phone ringing? Hey. First of all, it was Janae calls me first. Janae calls me first. She goes, "Oh, can you go look?" At, no, can you go no, check no, no, no. Janae Petty. She calls me and goes, "Hey, what you doing?" I'm like, "I'm at work." Oh, your uncle lost his ID. <laughs> yeah. And I go, "Oh shit!" She goes, "Yep, shit hitting the fan right now." You want to see? She called me on Facetime. You want to see? Petty. You want to see? Know. I'm like, "Where's your mama at?" She over there cussing a lot. <laughs> <laughs> she over there cussing a lot. Who's she cussing at? Just Everybody. Period, yeah. Cause she can't get me at the rental car place. No. So then, so then I get off the phone with her. Uncle Vince called me. Hey nephew. Yeah. Huh? What up? 
Uh, can you can you call the airport and see if they got my ID? Where at? It's another thing that old people do that I cannot stand. <laughs> I go but where go at? Ahead. I go where at? He go in Vegas. I go you in Kansas. He was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> I go you lost your ID? Yeah, I can't find it. I I, I guess I'll call the airport. I call the lost and found. Cause I I mean I guess I guess that smartphone that you just called me on doesn't let that's you what find I, that's, lost and found. That's what I just but said. I, I that's, got you. That's why I can't. That's, I guess I that's just know the thing number that I everywhere. hate that old people do. But so no. I was like, all right, I did my part. I call I called them back and I was like, damn, your found mind it. is young, brother. You can easier for you to figure out. I was like, they ain't found it. But if they do find it, I left them a ticket to call me. Yes. Back to you now. So. So they end up I getting the. Right? Y'all talk. They end up. Go <laughs> you going what? I can go pee. This is Friday, mind Tinkle. you. This is Friday. What you want to know? I'm there from Friday to Sunday. So this okay. is this is Friday. You gotta, you we we landed all in. Friday. We, we landed, landed Friday. Friday. Yeah. So um, could you live Friday morning? Yes. So we landed Friday. It's Friday afternoon. We're there. So they whatever they end up getting the car. You know, my aunt just took care of everything. She you know used her ID. They switched everything. You know, okay, no whatever. big deal. Yep. It is what it is. So. Fast forward, we get to the hotel, um, check in, all that good stuff. This is, okay, another thing. So, old people that can't walk, they put us on, me and my uncle's rooms on the third floor, my mom and my aunt's rooms on the second floor. Mm -hmm. Janae and um, Kiana, because Kiana came, um, they had a room on the second floor also. Mm -hmm. Well, Guess what? Now we're complaining about the where the rooms are because they don't want to walk. There's no elevator? There's an elevator. But they don't want to walk from the elevator to the room. And they don't want... I don't know, man. Whatever. Okay. This is how, so, we switched rooms. Me and Unc stayed on the second floor. Mm-hmm. Kiana and Johnny got the third floor room. I like to be on top for some reason. Like, when we're in... <laughs> pause. Um... <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, whenever I get a hotel, I always like to be on the top floor. I I love yeah. like the highest I can be. That's where I want to be. Okay. Just to, what, what was the highest floor in this hotel? I think it was four. Okay. Look, residents and four, something like my, that. Because my other uncle was on four. Okay. So I, I would want. Whatever. Be, I, yeah. I want to be like always at the, yeah. the highest I can be. Anyway, so that was that was another thing. So the ID situation. Okay. So fast forward to the day of the funeral, which was Saturday. Um, I get up. I got to go do some running around. I go to Ross. I go to Walmart just to get some little things that I just needed. Got to mm-hmm. find me some socks and a tie and some stuff to, you know, match the shirt or whatnot. Not so, yet. Not, not while we're recording. <clears throat> I want to eat on camera. So, um, I asked my uncle while we're in the room. I asked him like at least like two or three times. Yeah. Because he's going through all his stuff, shaking bags, going through his pockets, you know, got whatever, whatever. He's looking for his ID. He's looking for it, like looking for it. Hey, did you check everything? Yeah, man, I went through everything. I just can you call the airport. I call the airport. There, the loss of found is not open on Saturday, mm-hmm. but I call back Sunday. Okay, whatever. I'm getting ready to go get in the shower to get dressed. We have to leave at like one o'clock, something like that. Mm-hmm. So I get up, I go get my stuff to go get in the shower, and as I'm walking to go get in the shower, I look down because I, I got so many questions now because. If you don't find his ID, he can't get on the plane. Same thing Look. we said. But but because mm. he went and did, did dialysis, they had a copy of his ID. Okay. So he had a paper copy. Right. So that okay. was that was his backup. Okay. That right. was his backup. Because that was the same thing that I was saying. I was like, dude, he can't get back on the plane. He can't fly yeah. back if he don't got an ID. So they they gave him a paper po- copy when he we went to the hospital. Um, I'm walking to go get in the shower. And as I'm walking to the, sh- to the shower, I, I just happen to glance down. And I see in his shoe. In his shoe. <laughs> You ain't felt this the whole time we've been here. I look down. I look down and I'm like, I pause for a second. I'm like, I know that ain't what I think it is. I'm 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 thinking, like, in my head, I know it's not what I think it is. No, this ain't your motherfucking ID. Unk, is this your ID in your shoe? And he look at me and he's like, huh? So I reach down, I pick it up. This right here, is is this your ID? He's like, oh my God. Like, how did, where did you find that at? Right here in your shoe? Like, it, it was in your shoe that you had on. Like, how did you not see it in your shoe? And so, anyways, found his ID. It was in his shoe. That started a whole nother chain reaction because... Oh, I got a phone call. Reggie got <laughs> Again. Yeah, Reggie got I'm a in phone Vegas. Call. Even though he's not where we're at, he gets a phone call. Hey, we found his ID, you know, yada, yada, yada. But, you know. Yeah. That, that was that start. So, funeral time. 
Oh, funerals. There's, there's more. Oh, <laughs> this was a weekend full of folks. So, so, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm so glad you didn't tell these stories. Funeral, funeral time. So we go to the funeral. You know, we're everybody's kind of. I shouldn't say kind of. Everybody's somber, like as we get there. You of know, course, it's, it's, it's a, a funeral. funeral. You know, it's supposed to be yeah, you know yeah, kind yeah. of somber and whatnot. Not Ronaldo. So no, yeah, no. I mean, was. I mean, I was in my my little, in I was keeping it level. Yeah. Okay. My bad. So so as because <laughs> you know you don't get too far up or too far down. As the yeah as this service goes on. Sure way. As I'm yeah it in a yeah bit. it starts to kind of take a slight left. <laughs> Somebody it, took a detour. Yeah, it, 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 it was like a real. It was slight, like not a not a hard left, but a little. It was a little curve in the okay, road. Okay, curve. Just a little street. curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like, oh shit, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's something in the road. We yeah. get around now. Oh. Okay, so my uncle, like he, my uncle uh, wrote his own eulogy. So everything in the eulogy he I had see. already prepared. So so he had art like everything that they had read. Is what he wrote and wanted to be said. Like so, yeah. they get to the part at the end when it says uh, he's survived by you know his wife, mm-hmm. you know these kids, you know you know aunts, not aunts, but uh, sisters, brothers, you know yada yada yada. We have a great aunt. a great aunt. She's ninety years old. My grandma's sister. <laughs> we call her Aunt she? Ada. She's ninety years old. <laughs> a, she is. A feisty 90 years old. Mm. Like, when I say feisty, she's like a... Woo. So, in this eulogy, he did not mention her. She is there. Uh-oh. This is... this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and do my best to... To, <laughs> to picture, this, picture. This is... This is what, we're in the church. It's quiet. It's mm-hmm. quiet. They're doing the eulogy. Yeah, Survive yeah, yeah. by yada, yada, yada. I, I'll, I'll do the yada, yada, yada. You be here. Survive by Gwen, yada, yada, yada. Her kids, yada, yada, yada. Blah blah blah. What are you blah, doing blah, over there? Blah blah. blah. I ain't hear no Aida. Yeah. <laughs> no, she didn't. Hey, and then we're gonna keep on going. And Everybody we're just like, gonna get you. No, no, he ain't say like he ain't say my name. He ain't Aida. say my name. Hey Ada, Ada. don't somebody, shush me. Somebody, somebody, get it quiet. No, <laughs> you be quiet. Nice, bro. She back there going in ninety. Shop as a tech. I'm in the. We're in the third or fourth row. Okay. It's not a big, you know, church or mm-hmm. wherever we're at. Or, or, yeah, it was a church. It's not that big, bro. She was going off. So, <laughs> so, and this was long. It was long. It, like the serve that that part was long. Like that was just a eulogy. So yeah. we still had to do. It was like another song we had to do. The preacher had to preach and like do like the her like closing yeah. you know preach thing or whatever. And then um, I think there was another song. All of that passes, so at least 30 or 45 minutes pass. Mm-hmm. As soon as the preacher gets done talking, she gets up oh. and walks up on stage. And grabs the mic? Grabs the microphone. Bro, I got up and walked out. <laughs> he did. He called me. <laughs> Why? I got up and I walked out. I want to know what was said. I don't know what was said. <sighs> I hope there's video. But that, I don't and know this what was my You be yeah. walking out the wrong time. Nah. And this is my thing. Don't call me. Video it and then yeah, call me. Thank yeah, no. you. And then call me. Thank you. I got up and walked out. But okay. at, at that point, I mean, it was all. At, at that point, it started to turn into more of what I think it should have been and more of a. Repass. Cele- celebration. Celebrate exactly, this person's right? life. Yes. Then, a, then a somber moment. Like it, it, it kind of mm-hmm. turned into more of that because everybody mm-hmm. was like, yo, and ate a while. That's <laughs> hell. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that was it. there was a couple other things, but you know, I'll tell y'all. I mean, they're just minor things. Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about the whole right. trip. And then, uh, yeah, that was it, man. Came back and went right back to work and had a very eventful week this week, busy week. But yeah, I'm here now with my guys. So we back at short it, baby. And sweet weekend for me. It was it was very quiet. I got to go and do a lot of overtime at work. Mm. Um, ching ching. Of course. The phone calls here you and there, ain't but got no money in the bank. <laughs> but <laughs> now of you course, do. um, just the the phone calls. I kind of felt like I was I was torn between going to the funeral and not going, but I'm actually glad that I didn't go. It gave me a little bit of a break from my normal everyday thing of having to deal with all of those people right 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 at once normally and then okay. what are you looking at you just now noticed that tattoo mm-hmm. really yeah sin city mm-hmm. nice 
You really never noticed nope. it. Huh. And then <laughs> fucking hate Corey. Cause you legit <laughs> looked at it like yeah. you had never seen I've never it. Never seen it. Yeah. And then um think yeah, you, know, so, you think you know a person. <laughs> right. So that was pretty cool. I mean and then the fact of the stories hearing it from Ronaldo of what he had to deal with and then the yeah. phone calls and everything. Like now I think he sees why I call him whenever it's some shenanigans going on. Okay. Yeah, that's funny. Look, you just ta- you just tagged me in that post. That's my uncle. Yeah. What? Which one? Eating his steaks well done. <laughs> oh, like, oh, bro. We hey. went we went to the steakhouse and ate and he Oh, did like, y'all really? Yeah, and he's like he like we had this long conversation. I'm like, dude, you do not get a steak well done. He's like no. that's, he's like, that's just how I like it. Yeah. Oh, like oh, you like you like eating uncle meat Vince. jerky? Eat yes. a boot. Yeah, yes. like you like he's like he laughed. He's like, Oh man, this is how I like it. Yeah. Like, Tina Tina's core ate his steaks well done. Bro, yeah, exactly. Tina is core. Yeah, because so, you ain't know no better. So yeah. um But now do the funny I'll start talking about right. It's funny because Ronaldo's experience, this is one thing I will say, though. Ronaldo's experience of Wichita was completely different from mine mm-hmm. going in the short months yeah. in between. Like, he calls me. He's like, I got Dave and Buster's right across the street. And I'm like, motherfucker, I'm finna buy a ticket. I'm on the way. It was I, I wish, still got the card. I still yeah, got the card. So I, you was hanging out. I got, like, I got like $50 worth of points. So you was drinking. Then. That's exactly uh, where I went. All, <laughs> you was drinking. But, but it's like, literally, it's from here to like the house right there. Oh, nice. He it shows me right on Facebook. That's what's up. Right so yeah. I'm like, oh, ain't this about a bitch? I should have came. I was like, I'm finna buy me a $40 ticket. I'm on the way. Just yeah. pick me up from the airport. Right, right, right. Oh, and I then, do have a problem, brother. What's what? Why are you doing donuts in the rental? Oh, hold on. We didn't even get to that yet because oh. I was about to bring it up. Oh, my bad. I'm skipping so then, shit. So then the the next, uh, I'm going to say the next phone call after I got about Dave and Buster's was Ronaldo, Ronaldo standing in the parking lot. He's like, look at the car they gave you, ain't he? So he shows it, flips the camera. It's the charger with the fucking launch controls, yeah. everything on it. So it's, I'm it like, was, I thought it was the RT, but it was a GT. But it, was, yeah. it was a 2020 GT. Yeah. It got, it's got some, it's some, it got some. So got everything. I'm, like, mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. And he goes, and then look at this shit they gave me a little fucking Honda Sonata. <laughs> That shit was some bullshit. It was, a, it was a Jeep Cummins. That shit was the worst that's fucking what, that, car that's ever. That's what they gave us in Florida, like, dog. Man, what kind of whack they gave us a Jeep shit Compass. is this? They gave us a Jeep Compass Trailhawk in Florida. I'm like, man. That shit was so trash. Yeah, it was bullshit. First off, I'm in Florida. Why do I got four-wheel drive in fucking St. Pete, Florida? Bro, ain't no fucking hills in Kansas. It's flat. The whole state is flat. Like where, what do I need for where, a drive? Where for? do y'all think I'm going? But anyways, <laughs> so then after that, I, I'm gonna skip way ahead. Then we get a picture from Ronaldo. He's like, "So key pickpocketed and Gwen. Mm-hmm. Key is my little cousin. So she she pickpocketed and Gwen and took the keys. And this is what happened. I don't know nothing. They still don't know who drove this car." <laughs> Nobody mm-hmm. knows who drove this car. They don't even know that I was with them then. Oh, okay. right. right. The, it, the fucking search is out for whoever was in this. I guarantee you, they think Chris, Kiana took the keys and gave the keys to Chris. And he did, and he drove it? Mm. Like, they still don't know. I picked up Aunt Gwen the next day after I picked y'all up. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I don't know who fucking drove what. How did, she, did they know? They and Gwen knew Kiana took the keys. Yeah, Kiana must have snitched on herself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Kiana, yeah what she gonna say? Yeah, up front, Kiana would will do some sneaky do? shit. What you gonna do? But then no, no. And, and, and Kiana do some sneaky shit and then and then come back home and be like, yeah, hey, I did that. She's shit. just like me and Ronaldo. Yeah, like, I did that shit. Like, hey, no, what? what are these three hoes? Stripper Paul up in the yeah, house. Exactly. <laughs> I ain't have no fucking stripper Paul. <laughs> All right, that's, that's what we that's did. What we did. <laughs> my only my only thing was, and I told him afterwards was like, okay, yeah, we did the burn on so whatever. But the only thing that's gonna suck is tomorrow when she gets in the car, she's gonna she sp- gonna smell this. She shit. gonna smell the burn rub. She bitch. just got to open up the window. I don't know. I don't know. I no. left. Too late now. Yeah. Okay. But but all in all. I had a very good weekend. I cooked some food for for them when they came back home. So I I just had to chill weekend. Okay. Everybody left me. Yeah. Motherfuckers didn't ask me if I wanted to go nowhere. Mm-hmm. You got choices. <laughs> right. You right. literally so, said you didn't want to go. I so didn't want to go there. I might have wanted to go to St. Pete. St. Pete. I'm going back with Broderick. I'm not going with you. I'm two. going with Broderick. Look, my answer is always no. Uh, until you say, <laughs> until I tell you buy a ticket. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All, All right. right. So let's get into our shit. I got a question for y'all. Came up with today that wasn't on the docket. So I got one too. One gotta go. Who one gotta go? One gotta go. Which right. one? Cast money or no limit? Ooh, ooh, ooh. No limit gotta go. 
Oh shit! Okay. Yeah. You have a reason. So, so, so when, all of no limit. All that's, of no, that's what all we're saying. Shit. That's what we're saying. Uh, everything shit. they made gotta go. That's a tough one. Uh okay. So. Mm. Yeah, I'm mm. going. I'm, I'm. 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 I might have to say no limit has mm. to go, but that's only because. Cash Money has put out more shit that I can vibe with. Okay. All right. Hmm. In the long run. Okay. In the long run for me, Cash Money put out more stuff. That you can. That I can still bump. Yeah. To this day. And, now, they, now and, they say, still, and they're still putting out shit. That's what I'm saying. And it's not that. that the shit they. The, the no pe- Limit. No Limit got some shit. They got, oh, they got some shit now. Like, they, they used, they used shit. to drop they albums like every week. Every week. Yes. They used yes. to drop albums every week. Yes. I used to love that like, shit. Fuck, Even they was trash, but they was dropping you albums You got that Suave week. House. You got fucking MJG. Was that, MJG on No Limit? No, no that was Suave no, House. No, 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 that was Suave House. Suave House. Ooh, shit. Yeah, I, I'm gonna hate to say it, but yeah, I'm gonna have to agree, with Reggie. I'm gonna say no limit. Okay. I mean, it it goes against my better judgment, and even though that be- unpredictable album is still <sighs> one of my favorite. That, that's albums. why I was saying only because of mystical. <laughs> yes. You know yes. what I mean? Like, yeah. That's they saving grace was e- mystical. E- yes. Even like Fiend's first album and uh, what was that boy named Soldier Slim's first album? This, but one. but that's what I'm saying. Like if if you're telling me that I have to choose between them or Cash Money, only yep. only because Cash Money's got Wayne, of course. Yep. But Drake. No, no, yeah, it, no, 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 no. It, it, cash oh, money is a, it's a branch. It's a branch. Okay. So that means Drake's gone too because it's a branch off. Young Money is a branch off of cash money. Okay. I'll give you that. Nicki Minaj. I'll give you that. Branch off of cash money. I'll give you that. Um, I didn't even think that far the, into it. The, yeah. The, but the, the weird thing is, is I will listen to more No Limit stuff than I will oh, cash yes, money stuff. Okay. Yes, so, I, so I'm So I'm going to listen to, I'm going to listen to Fiend. I'm gonna listen to you know old mystical. I'm yeah. gonna listen. Hell, I'll even bump that that, Mac. that Snoop Dogg album that oh, they yeah, dropped. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like I'll, I'll listen. What niggas? Them yeah, niggas? Yeah, yeah. yeah, dog. I'm with it. I'll, li- I'll <laughs> listen to all that. I'll listen to all that. But but if I if I have to choose between catalogs, I'd probably go. Oh damn, that whole True album they had. <laughs> damn. See, hey, that uh that uh. Who was do or die under? That, bro, no, no, no limit? No. You know that, what? No. That pull a kick? No. Nope. I'm, go, I'm, like, going, nope. I'm, I'm going, going cash money. I'm, I'm going, going cash money. Cash, cash money, money no, got to go? Cash money got to go. Because okay. I'm thinking even more. Like Master P's album, Ghetto yeah. Dubs got to go? Yeah, Ghetto Dubs got to go. Man, hell no, man. <laughs> hell no. <laughs> nope. 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 <laughs> but that means 400 degrees is gone. Hey, it's all right. I mean, I lose Juvie. I lose Wayne. You lose Manny Fresh. You lose Manny Fresh. You lose Manny. every Manny Fresh. I'm sorry, man. Dog. I'm sorry, Come man. Come on. Yes. I gotta, I, no. I'm not. I'm sorry, I man. Do I can't. It, uh, I <sighs> cannot do it. Mm-mm. But you, you know what I'm going you with. You missed Sip soccer. You, you know what I'm going with. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. I got the tattoo to prove it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. ball nah. till I fall. Yeah, that's, I fall. That's, that's a tough Cash one, man. That's all a tough day. one. That's, that's a good one. So much choice. That, that so, in a versus would fucking oh be my epic. God, that, that in a good. versus God. would be epic. No limit versus cash money. I want to see it so, now. <laughs> Bring me in. I want to do the fucking announcing at the table. So, so we I went to SS Fest in 2018, right? So they had Duce Palooza. Okay, you put and they had the House of Blues. Well, on the stage they had a big ass tank. And because it was in mm-hmm. New Orleans, they had a big ass tank. But guess who came out and performed? Cash Money, Juvenile. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm like, eh, I get it because we're in New Orleans, no limit. But yeah, the, yeah, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying. But okay, bro, about right. it, about it. I got to lose about it, about it, about it. Movie and the soundtrack. Yes, man, nah, bro. I'm going. But I'm you going. Got the but, but you got to lose. I got to lose, lose that too. But you losing <laughs> the Carter Three. You losing Carter Three. You losing four hundred degrees. Come on. You losing uh, Ooh, what was BG. You losing all the Carters. I'm yes, all saying. the Carters. I mean, I, it's tough, but I'm. I gotta stick Boy, with no limit. I, I won't be a be to see it. just how it feels. Negotiating. Mm-hmm. Come on. Mm-hmm. I ain't okay. losing it, bro. It's it's what, it's it's the it's doing? the ghetto dope you, for me. What did you say? Let's say I'm in a room with a bitch and the whole one fuck like a man. I'm gonna beat my <laughs> beat and get my fucking up for sure. She gonna be drove. Dude. Come on, dog. Hey, look. Hey. So nope. Okay, so. We're done with that. Come on, go ahead. You want to hear my my thing that wasn't on the things the topic? It's a lot of shit that happened today that we got to bring up. So look, was the other day the first high speed chase in Las Vegas that we have ever seen? It was seen? not the first one. It definitely wasn't the it first was one. Probably the, the first one that we saw. It was on TV. The definitely the most craziest. 
Like no, that was some LA shit. It was like but, uh, we've but, uh, never seen a high we speed have, chase like that. We haven't seen no, no video of them, but I'm sure that. What's the last high speed chase you remember? That happened in Las Vegas. Exactly. It's been Can't a while. We. It's been a while. Okay. Where are? It's been a while. More, More than fifteen. Don't okay. worry, I'll wait. No, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> like I mean, it, like, <laughs> like, did you go to work and look this up? No, oh, okay. I was at work when it happened. Yeah. So and, go ahead, and go ahead, of course, you know where I work at. So I get all the four one one. Like I'm fucking. Please tell what happened. Tell the, tell the people, tell the listeners what happened. So there was a high speed chase. Uh, a woman stole a car. It wasn't a woman. It was a guy. Oh, was oh, it a was guy? A guy. No, okay. no. This I thought it was a woman. Not. No, it was a, it was a guy. Okay. It Keep going. Guy. I'll show you. Whatever. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Guys, a person. person. Until we can identify sure. this. Mm-hmm. So they stole the car. Oh, they left. Oh, a uh, guy that looks like God a God damn. So, okay. But he wanted to die. A guy I'm stole sorry. a car. Is that, now. is that bad to Correction. say? No. no Correction. A guy stole a car as he was on his high speed chase. The uh, an NHP trooper went to throw out the spike strip mm-hmm. to slow him down. He decided, you know what? I'm a GTA this thing. Fuck this. And I'm gonna hit the cop instead of running over the spike strips. Yeah. Hits the cop, keeps it pushing. Eventually, they do the pit maneuver and and pit him. Dude, what do you want? He either jumps out the car with a gun. I didn't read up after this. They don't, he either they jumps don't out, have that much on, on He either jumps out the car with the gun and, and points it. Because you hear two pops, though, in the video. Yeah. When they no. first pit him. It's yes, like, you do. You hear two watch. Oh, oh but when they in pit the video. him. In the video. And yeah, then, and then a couple pit seconds him, go by. You, you hear pop, pop. Mm-hmm. And then you hear so that's when they shot and they killed him mm-hmm. i imagine if mm-hmm. i'd have been there, i'd have been able to tell y'all but right that's what i get from it um i feel like this is the first one that i've seen and it will start becoming a, a norm. more norm yeah. you think you think yeah. so yeah because mm-hmm. a lot of people from cali is coming to vegas mm-hmm. point blank i hope not mm-hmm. i hope not point blank Okay. I do have some issues. Oh, he has some mental issues. Like no, like Well, like, first of all, if you if anybody on a high speed chase, everything's out the window. Like, like no, that. like he like they of course they know who he is, so they got like They some, did his background, background check. Yeah, so he got um like arrested for assaulting a security guard, like I think it was like right at the beginning a of, fight bane, I swear of the wow. pandemic. He spit on a security guard and got arrested. Like there's a whole bunch of shit like, yeah. he got in trouble for. But you know, it is this damn it. dog about to pull all this equipment down. He about to pull all y'all shit down. Yeah, he is. Yeah, get your lit ass on. What are you right. talking about? Ain't going? Okay. So some other shit I saw this week. Hold on. Hold on. Come here. Stop it. Wait, watch that. Watch that. No, right. you good. No. Just pull it up. Watch that. God. Get your little badass on somewhere. I love you, but I can't stand your little badass. All right. So, some shit out. The Olympics is going on. Y'all been watching? Yeah. I'm keeping I, an eye on it. I've, I've been trying to. What yeah. do you want to say first about the Olympics? It's, it's, I need to know, like, maybe I'll just pull up a schedule because there's certain things that I want to watch. But uh-huh. Which is I like what? Watch, Which but, is like what? But they haven't started any of the track events yet, though. No. Okay. That's probably what. Well, it this is Summer right. Olympics. Not, uh, Summer Olympics today, right? Yes, they do. It's track. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm. So I think that's next week they start. I the, think you might be the, right. The, the, the track events. Okay. So Simone Biles. Is that where you want to go first? What, you got somewhere else? Yes. Go ahead. The fucking men's decided they want to lose their first fucking basketball game okay. right off top. Eh. Shit happens. Huh? Yeah. Doesn't mean. No, hold on. Bill, For, don't, shit happens. No, okay. So here Any, goes my issue. So, 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 go ahead. Here goes my issue is the fact of number one. Let's just start out from looking at this team. This is the first Olympics team since the Dream Team where you do not have a legit superstar on the team. Fuck out of here. Who? KD. Isn't no. Kevin Durant on the team? Listen, fucking listen, D. listen, listen, li- yeah. listen, hold on, <laughs> listen, Kevin Durant listen to what I'm going to tell you. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. Okay. Normally you have Jordan. Yes. Normally you have Kobe. Okay. Normally you have LeBron. All right. Who is the big name on this team? Kevin, Kevin Durant. Durant. Kevin Durant hasn't done anything. He hasn't done anything? By himself, solo. Come what, on, dog. What solo has you Kevin Durant you, done? Kevin Durant. No, Kevin Durant. Hold on. Hold on, okay, Reginald. Go ahead. go ahead. Let's run this. 
Kevin Durant. I love basketball. Is 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 what the best player in the league? No. Give Ooh. me, give me, no. give me your top. No, it's still LeBron is the best player Yo. in the league. Okay, okay, give me your top five. Who LeBron can? I love five. the Lakers. LeBron can get will his team out the damn first round this year. Give me your top five players, right? If he's the best the player, will your fucking team out the first round? Okay, I'll give you that. I'll give you that. You tell me something KD has done by himself. KD, KD is at least. If LeBron's one, KD's at least two. No. One no one B. No. One A. No. No. If he ain't better than Braun, he the closest who's, one. Who's, okay. Who, okay. Who would so, you take so over the best player, Kevin Durant? The best player in the NBA, in the world, shows up to the Olympics and scores 10 points. Dog. The best player. You show me somebody in the Olympics that was the superstar on one of those three teams that I named that only scored 10 points in their first Olympic well, game. It wouldn't be Kevin. I mean, it, it wasn't was, Jordan. It wasn't LeBron, it wasn't LeBron no. and it wasn't Kobe. Nope. Okay. Nope, I'll give you that. And right. KD you that. cannot take a team by himself anywhere but back home. Mm. Oh, is that's what we sticking with? Mm. I'm just, I'm, I'm a hundred percent telling you the facts. I mean, I mean, you got some good points. It's the but, facts, bro. Okay. Well, I'm like, going like, to. Will I give you? He is a pure scorer. Yes, but a pure scorer by themselves has taught us in this league they can't do anything. And what it is, what the problem is, is on Hold the Olympics. On. We got two. We got two superstars on the team. Who? Who Dam- else? Damian Litter. No, Dame Litter not a superstar. And here goes the problem is. He's an all star, but he's not a superstar. I think he's a superstar. In the league. No, he is not because he cannot finish at the end of the day, oh, and that's the problem. Oh, you watch too much basketball. No, and I will give you that he is a he is a solid star, but by himself, what can he do? Okay, I'm going to disagree. What but on Dan Lillard? Disagree. Yes, on the, yes, Dan yeah. is a superstar. In the I'm that's gonna, fine. I'm going to disagree on both. Of that's fine because I think I think Kevin Durant is. So at so least top, can, so top a superstar so is a superstar and an all star different. Yes. Yes. So what's the different calibers in the two? Let's define it right quick so that way I can show y'all where we at. Superstar is Jordan, Kobe, LeBron, anybody else that by themselves can single handedly no. take a team and go. No, that's not a superstar. Okay. What's that's a not superstar? a superstar. What's the superstar? Your 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 KDs. Your, no, K, KD is a superstar. No, KD. So, K, if, what is it? Okay, on, if okay, KD's hold a on, superstar? hold on, hold on. If LeBron retired today, who was the face of the NBA? Who's the face? If AD. Le- Fuck no, no, no. It no. is Kevin Durant. No, it, no, it'd be, it'd be no. No, it'd be the. It'd and be, I'm not even giving AD superstar status. It would be okay. the young guys. They go like Luca or like no, 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 Trey no, no, no. or something I'm say, like that. I'm saying. For the, I mean, I'm, I'm considering it KD old guard. Nah, nah. I'm, a, I'm, 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 I'm gonna consider KD old guard. KD becomes the face of the league if LeBron said right now, no. I'm retiring. No. I guarantee you, no. No. Because nah. the, only, the only reason why LeBron disagree, LeBron, LeBron is is the face of the league because of more, not necessarily even just basketball. It's the other stuff that LeBron does. Okay, you know the stuff off the court. You know he's like, yes. he's all over the place. Yes, you know, yes, that's, yes, yes. That's why. So if LeBron goes, they're gonna. Gravitate towards somebody else. The KD and doesn't might have that. It might even be Zion. Okay, no, no, absolutely not. no. Um, he ain't done shit. So yet. They'll, they'll probably gravitate to like some of the younger guys. You know, Giannis maybe, mm-hmm. or you know, Luca, Trey, or whatever. Is Giannis a superstar in your eyes? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Was he a superstar before he won the championship? I don't think he's a superstar. Was was he a, was he a, was superstar? He a superstar in your eyes before he won the championship? No. Ooh. No. No. It was hard. I like I didn't like Giannis only because I felt like his game is only the fact that he's the biggest player. He's out there. he's very one dimensional. Once once Giannis develops whenever he develops a jump shot, he's gonna but, be unstoppable. Yeah, but, he's very one dimensional. But my the point but that back, I'm, back back to it. The point that I'm making is you don't have somebody that commands like I put it to you like this. Come on, give it to me. Is give it to me raw. I guarantee you, there were between those three teams that I named the the Jordan era, the Kobe era, and the LeBron era of them going to the Olympics. There was a talk in that locker room. We're not losing a fucking game. Okay. And everybody looked at him and was like, "You fucking right." Because if we lose, and you said we ain't losing, it's mm-hmm. gonna be some bullshit up in here. Okay, I think the thing with with it, ain't nobody scared of fucking Kevin Durant. I think that I think that's so, the thing with Kevin hold, Durant hold, is, that, on, give it, is give that, me that is that even though he is 
a problem on the court. Like he's he's a legit problem. Like, he doesn't command like he the did, respect. He, he doesn't. He did, he's not a. He doesn't force it. You know what I mean. He doesn't go out and say. I mean, he does because because he can't. It's like he he turns it on and turns it off whenever he wants to. Right, you know what right, I mean. Right, so right, if he right. doesn't want to score, he doesn't. If he wants to score, he can't because there's literally no stopping him unless he wants to be stopped. So right. if he's not out there trying. It's because he doesn't want to, and okay. that's and that's what I think what separates him from those other guys from the superstar status. Then. But he's still a superstar, but he just nah, doesn't. I can't sometimes give him sometimes he just doesn't have that drive. You yeah, know no. what I mean? But but mm-hmm. he he's he's legit at least top three player in the NBA. Like you put mm-hmm. Kevin Durant on the court, you're gonna be like, okay, I need to stop this guy. Mm-hmm. Like you, you look. Yeah, you're gonna you be stop, like, I need to stop him. If, even if you, even if you don't stop him, and you let him get his thirty or forty, you will win the game still. You okay? okay. What? Yeah. And then, and then, yeah. He, and then, you let him get forty or fifty points, you will still win a game because nobody else is scared that I didn't give my all. Hmm. Whereas if you, if you let LeBron, if you let Jordan get fifty points, I guarantee you the rest of Jordan's team is scared. Can I to let them lose they, that game. They I didn't do anything I, else. Can I tell you? Can I tell you Jordan's average in the '92 Olympics? It's got to be thirty Come some, on. right? In the '92 Olympics, Jordan was averaging twelve point seven points. Twelve point seven points in the in the Olympics. Okay, twelve point seven. All right. Larry Bird, at that time, who was the pinnacle of superstars at the time, nine point five. Okay. It's a different game in the Olympics. It's a. Di- it is a different game in the Olympics, but on the same hand. You can't go out there and only pull up ten points, dog. You're you. It's not that kind of game in the internet and where basketball <laughs> and basketball is today. <laughs> these teams can. Okay, these teams, so, these, so hold, hold on, hold, so hold on, hold on. Go ahead. These teams, these international players, are playing with pure fucking fundamentals. What does the NBA lack? Fundamental. Funda fucking mentals. Okay. Er, Anyways, er, don't it might look. I mean, you're right, and then you got to think too. Like the the these other players, they're catching up. These other countries, you know, they're catching up. The the team that beat us was it France? Okay. They had three people in the they got in the NBA. Okay. No one's going. So now, so now you're even devaluing your own point. I just want you to know. I'm not devaluing my own point. Yes, yes, because if you say that players in the NBA don't play fundamentally. They don't. But three players on this starting lineup of the France team that beat us. I will explain what what, what I'm saying because I I did not explain. Players who play, who come from international competition in basketball have more fundamentals in basketball than people in America, than the USA. Mm-hmm. Okay. There is they are more fundamentally sound at basketball. Okay? That's my point. You gotta think too, Reg. Like Basket- these, no. these other these other countries that are playing the United States, like it's like it's like we're the big dog on the block. You no, know what first I mean? of all, so we are so the, the big dog. So they're coming they're coming to, to show mm-hmm. like they're gonna give their A they're game no give matter their, what. They're gonna give their all they're gonna give hundred and twenty percent. KD's gonna be like, man. Yeah. These dudes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm playing yeah. against G League team. Yeah, anyway. right, I, I'm right, gonna be right. like, fuck these dudes. But on the same hand, I'm a representing the USA, so, so I don't have a chance to be like, fuck these dudes. And two, did y'all okay? Did y'all watch the game? No, they got their ass drugged. No, they, they no, ended they the didn't. game. They ended the game. France ended the game with a 17 to two run, bro. So so seventeen to two. So and so KD this, put up eight shots and missed them all. So that so the game that they lost because they came back and actually won the game, you know, against Iran or whatever. So they rebounded from that. So the game that you're talking about is the game that they lost. Yes. So moving forward, if they just lose that game and then moving forward they rebound, they get on the right track, they go KD, you know, ends up scoring twenty five, whatever every game. Does your stance change? No. If they win the gold, does no, your stance change? No. They still a trash team? KD still trash? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Flat out. Yes. No, he is not. Okay. Okay. I will give you, he's the best. He is a very good score. He's a pure score. He, he, okay. But outside of that, can he take it? You're telling me by himself. He damn near took his team to the finals. 
Can he take a team to the finals and win by himself? I think he damn near did it. Okay. Can he? Yeah, I can think he, so. Yes. Can he take a team yes. to the finals and win? Yes. It? Yes. Yes. No, he because cannot. Because that weird. We were what, always no. Was, uh, was was Clay down that year? It was, was him and what? Steph, right? Clay was down that year. What happened? That when they the second championship with the Warriors, and then he got hurt. The second championship with the Warriors. And KD wasn't the best player on that Warriors team. He no, was. No, they, no. No, they weren't. No. No, they weren't hurt. They, it was the year that they were that they played. Uh, no, you're telling me. You're Toronto. telling me. It's the Toronto one. You're that, telling the, me that he went to that the he Warriors. Went down and Clay went down. Yeah, they just had stuff. That he was the best player on the Warriors yes, team. Yes, at that time he was the best player on the Warriors. Oh when he went to the Warriors, God. he became the best player on the team. This is why you like the Lakers. Steph was not the best this player on the right team here, at the time. This right here is why you like the Lakers. You don't think he was the best player on the team? Hell no. Yes. You do, you do know that when they won both of those championships, he got the MVP. MVP. That doesn't mean he was the best player. In your opinion, he wasn't the best player, but he the, was the, the best be- player on the team. So we're going to we're going to go on the facts of. Us three right now are going to go on the facts of whoever gets the MVP no, was the best player. I'm just saying. Oh, you exactly. Got the MVP. If you tell me no, then you can't tell me KD was the best player just because he but got the MVP. I'm not saying no. I'm just saying he got the MVP, so clearly that, he was the best player. No. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah, that, that, for you. No. I, I disagree. No. Is KD so the a MV- good so, so the MVP player. doesn't go you to the best player? You keep calling him a good player, dog. Come He's, on. Is he How a, you disrespecting that man like that? Call him I'm a good player. I'm not disrespecting him. I'm not disrespecting Come him. Come on. It is the pure facts of if you're going to call Okay, if we're going to level it out and say these people are superstars, these people are all-stars, you have to have a grade in there and where you're grading them at. Okay. And if you're grading Kevin Durant on pure scoring – then yes, he is in the superstar in pure scoring. Okay. But any can, does he have what it takes to take a team by himself to no. the championship and win it? No, no, he doesn't. Push that back. Yeah, I think he does. I think he does, bro. Okay. Okay. All right. Next. He shit. hasn't proven it. <laughs> okay. So you can live off of. I think he does, and I can live off of until he proves me wrong. The answer is no. Okay. Right. I got it. All right. All right. Next shit, right? Next shit. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Simone Biles. All right. Another person in the in 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 the line of somewhat fire. I, I have a little bit more respect for her. Um Okay, this is weird because Why? On one point I'm like, I get it. What, say what it is that you get, though. I get her having a little mental issues with the competition in and saying, okay, I can't do this no more right now. I'm not in the right head space. That's, okay. Good. okay. You're starting off I, there. Okay, go I, ahead. I get I'm it. Fine with that. I get it. But on the other hand, the competitor in me okay. is like, what the fuck are you doing? Okay? Mm-hmm. Right, because ahead. if a person... If goddamn LeBron did that shit in the middle of the game, say, so you know what? I ain't got it today. I'm sitting the fuck down. We'll be killing him. We would be killing that man. So then, so then, leave whatever you said. I understand out of it. So, so the Come so the thing isn't isn't. I guess I guess are we wrong for that then? So our judgment on that situation should be wrong. Come on. Not him wanting to okay. be able to say that I'm not feeling it today. I'm not in the right headspace. You know, I've got a lot going on. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm 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 just having a mental, you know, you know, episode or something like that. Okay. But for us to judge him on that, that's on us. That's not on him. You, I I totally agree. So if so the same thing with Simone Biles, like she shouldn't feel like she shouldn't be able to say like, "Hey, you know what? I'm not in the right headspace to go out here and perform like I really want to. Like, mm-hmm. you guys deserve me to perform for you guys." Yeah. So, her to be able to say that, I mean, I give her all oh, props in the world yes, because yes, yes. there's a, there's also the fact that she plays a different sport. She's a different type of athlete than LeBron or a football player or something like that. And not to mention that I think your boy Dak did the same thing. Dak did the same thing after his brother got killed. Yes. After his brother, not sorry, not after his brother got killed. After his brother Committed killed himself, suicide, yes. he actually said he's like he actually you know, and people ripped him for it for saying that he 
wasn't like he didn't have the right mind state or he wasn't feeling good or thoughts on me or he was having some mental issues and people were saying like he was you know soft or you know whatever whatever because he's supposed to be strong he's just he's the starting quarterback for the dallas cowboys right. all of that shit goes out the window once you start going through something yes once you're having definitely. mental issues who gives a fuck if you yes the, the quarterback for hey, the dallas man, cowboys. Listen, listen listen dog and y'all are right. It is our fault. It is our. I think f- I blame us for th- all of that situation. Like okay. for her to feel any type of way, I f- I blame any and everybody that has something negative to say. I blame us for that. Okay, absolutely. All right, go ahead, Rich. I'm sorry. So, my thing with the whole Simone bowing out mm-hmm. is a. And everybody can hate me for it. I don't. I don't care. She didn't have no problems winning world. Okay. She ain't have no problems doing anything else. I think what it was was she got into this situation in the Olympics. And if you've been watching it, I don't know how much I've watched. Yeah, I have watched. Mm-hmm. I've watched a lot of me Olympics too. than me I've too. than more than I've normally have. Yeah. And what it was was the ROC, the Russian Olympic Committee, getting has been, has been putting it. Mm-hmm. To they ass that too, and what it is is Jay- she's normally used to having such a big lead going in. So you don't think she in the qualifying she could, and all she, that? She could take it. I think what it is is she was scared to lose mm-hmm. on at this point. Wow! And sh- her mental can't take it. Oh, okay. That's because, a different take. Because and and we've seen it. Some people can take losing. Yes. Mm-hmm. And some people cannot. Like some people will have a complete AKA Ronda Rousey. Yeah. Soon as she lost that fucking fight, now she's off her yeah. her game from that point on. That and then I think what it is is to my other issue with this is there's been many of like all stars back in the game, AKA Carrie Strugs. Okay. You guys know her? Ooh, ooh, are you looking at notes? He actually looked at shit. You up. looking at notes, brother? He I'm just no saying. Idea who fucking hey, he has no idea. Broke who's her Carrie motherfucking struggling. leg. Yes, she and did. Still did her routine and won. Right. So, like your mental health, I understand. It is a very uh Why are you giving air quotes? Because I want to say it is a very um not hot topic, but a very catchy thing to get out of some bullshit so you think that's what she did yeah because i i don't understand how you take somebody else's spot to go to the olympics if you have mental issues somebody else could have been in that spot and lived their dream and given it their all so you think so i guess you think that that at the end of the day she's using the mental Thing as a cop out as a on cop out. on why she that's what, did. That's what you think. Yeah, like oh, okay. like to me, it is a men- it is a cop out to say, oh well, my for me, it's my mental issues, and I just need to I need some time away. I need to pull my and then not only that because mental issues don't stop in in twenty minutes. But hold but, on, but hold how, on. Do you, listen, how do you know okay. she hasn't listen, been dealing with that? Li- though. But listen to what I'm about to say though, because. For you just to remove yourself from the group and not the full thing and go the fuck home mm-hmm. is my issue. She didn't. She didn't do the. She, she, she only, do, she the only thing, removed herself from the, the only, team. She only removed herself from the team. She and and the individual and the end of the all around individuals. Mm-hmm. She's still competing in the individual individuals. Hmm. Right. Okay. So your mental issues is good there. Maybe no, the problem is the problem is is by herself, she's a fucking force to reckon with. And what it is is because the way that they have the scaling and the difficulty is mm-hmm. her difficulty is all the way up here for the tricks that she's doing. So so nobody else can come close to her or get a higher score than her. So if that's the case, then why not I guess prove a point? Why not compete in the group thing? And because even in if the they, group in the group, y'all getting y'all ass caught on and even if they did she could that proves her point of what i have mental issues so that's no, why we no, didn't no, win no we lost because the because rest of, of me, them where the, i was the rest of them suck because by myself i'm smoking everybody else okay but well, now then, i'm with the team 
and we're fucking losing. But then say that. Say that. Maybe don't, she don't doesn't say that. want to. She That's what I'm say, saying. She can't say that. So, she so her thing is, is okay, it, well, you she, know what? I'm going to bow out and let them do their thing because right. they got... I feel like they got more props doing that shit by themselves yeah. than, than, yeah, yes, than they, they would have with her. They did. So she, let them go out there, get their shine. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take a step back. So then you you're agreeing with me that it was I'm a cop out. I'm not agreeing with you. It she, was a cop out. I'm she, not agreeing. She with you cannot all. say that my team sucks, so I'm bowing out. She can't okay, say that. She can't she say can't, that. She can't say but, that. She can't so say she that. can use mental health as a fucking smoke screen there? I don't think that she, I I I don't think it was a smoke yeah, screen. Now you see what I'm I saying. I don't, I don't I, think I, it was a smoke I screen. totally understand what you're saying. And that's why I said before that we there is two different stigmas when it comes to... Because I'm going to treat this all-around competition as a team sport. Mm-hmm. Okay? There's two different stigmas. If a football player, NBA player, baseball player, something like that, that we, 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 we would be fucking killing them. Yeah. And like Ronaldo said, it's our fault for doing that. Mm-hmm. Any person because could have... Because you put that pressure on them yeah. to have to go I'm out not. and to perform to a certain level, and the minute the minute these superstars show some type of humanity, some type of of being a regular person, yeah. yes, we knock We're them down. Kill them. Yeah. yeah, we and, knock and them down. We treat them like they're fucking Avengers or I'm, some shit. I'm not a fan of them taking fucking games off. I'm not a fan of the NBA right. doing I'm not that a fan shit. Of that either. I'm not a no. fan of that shit. No, I I'm paid not. money to come and see y'all play. I didn't come and and just to see who may play. Right, so I'm a I'm a hundred percent against that shit. Mm-hmm. The same way that I'm a hundred percent against her, right, bowing out in the Olympics. Yes, bro. so so in the Olympics, so now, let me, you're gonna have to put on your big girl panties and get out here and do your fucking so thing. So let me so let me give you just just one little tidbit because I I definitely haven't told either one of you guys this. So just so Roman's got um, Junior Olympics. Junior Olympics coming up. Yes. right. So just last week. I want to say maybe it was it was before I left. So is it fucking raining? Yeah. Damn, I gotta close my sunroom. You better um, go do that shit right do that now. Shit now, dog. <laughs> it's all right. It's the the way it, it doesn't actually okay. get in there. It's got oh, a little it's, block. You get the vent up, yeah. not fully open. Okay, yeah, all right. Vents up. Um. So right before I left, his mom called me. She's like, "You need to talk to your son. He's talking about he's done with sports." Roman literally. Was in that mindset because I called him. My face, I'm like, man, what's going on? He's like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just done. He's like, I don't want to run track no more. I don't want to play football no more. I'm just done. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, where did this come from? He's like, I don't know. He's like, I just, I'm just not feeling it. Okay. I'm just not feeling it right now. Mm-hmm. So, so I had a long conversation with him, and I'm telling him like, okay, like I get it. Like maybe you're just not feeling it. You know, you're having a couple of rough days, or you know, the the training and whatnot is is not. You know what you expected, so you're you're going through this process, and it's just you're not getting the results that you want right away. You have to realize it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Yes. You know what I mean? No pun intended. Seeing as how he runs freaking track, mm-hmm. right? but I just like bro, just just take your time, just think about it. So I told him, I was like, look, just think about it. Give yourself a couple of days. Don't go practice. Don't go train. Just you know, give yourself a couple of days to think about it. Sure enough, he, he sat those couple of days out, and now he's back. Yeah. So that's why I'm saying, like, just because she bowed out that day, maybe she really wasn't feeling it that Come day. Come on. Okay. Maybe she, like, really was not in her right and maybe headspace she, and that And maybe day. she didn't want to be the reason for them losing a medal competition. Uh, because not only that, like, you have to realize, like, like, we put her up on this pedestal of her being the GOAT. And her being the best gymnast ever, if they lose, imagine what's going to happen. All the shit she's going to have to deal with online. Granted, okay, you're an athlete. This is what you signed up for. Your celebrity. This is what you signed up for. You better go lock but your at, car. But at bro. the same time, I don't feel like it's right. You better know what I mean? So, your window, cause this so, shit finna fucking flood. Yeah, it's coming. Go, yeah. Go now. But right. okay, so here goes my other thing: is why you gone, Renault? And I'll tell you when you come back if you want. No, go ahead. Is my other thing is I think I I will give you that there was a lot of pressure put on her because I don't know that there was anybody. At the Olympics, that has more medals than her. Ooh, maybe I'm not she sure. She might be the biggest name at the Olympics. Okay. She might be. Yeah, that uh, might no, be. Yes, 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 yes. I definitely give you that. I definitely, definitely give so, her being the so, biggest name at the Olympics. I agree. So that might be the biggest thing in it. Okay. All right. And it may be something where you just like I don't. Like she's she may not have been prepared for all of that. Okay. 
And I will give her that. But right. that's something that you know going into. It. Yes, you do. Okay. Um, we done with this? I'm 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 good with it. Okay. I want to stay on bas- I want to stay on sports for a minute and go to basketball. Congratulations to the Milwaukee Bucks for winning the championship. We've been gone okay. for two weeks, so we're gonna say congratulations. Yeah. Um, Giannis is the MVP Finals MVP. Did you say Giannis? Gian- Giannis. <laughs> Giannis. 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 Giannis Antetokounmpo. Uh, okay. Y- is it Giannis or Giannis? Giannis, right? I think it's Giannis. Giannis. The G is Giannis. And ain't no why. So it's Giannis. Right, Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> inside, inside of my car is wrecked. I told oh, you. Oh, bro. I'm sorry. So, so, so the the way I'm parked, the oh, rain's every, coming this oh, way. I told you. So because I have the scoop up, bro, the inside of it is completely dirty because apparently there was a windstorm before yeah, it started yeah, raining. And now yeah. it's wet. It's full of fucking dirt. And now mud. And now it's in. It's like, well, not mud, but it's it just a little wet. Okay. It's a little wet, but it's covered in dirt. Oh, bro. Oh, my, my satellite thing is going out, too. So, Giannis... And finals MVP, great. Um, it's a couple of questions. I want to make a quick help you. You know, Chris Paul done. Nah, no, no, nah. Not, not done, not retiring, but when he win the finals, when he win, in, when he win the championship, Shit, he probably should have went to LA. Okay, he probably will. I was just about to say that. Okay, cool. That and then they're gonna move Russ to the to the two. Okay, Russell Westbrook is with the Lakers now. If y'all paying attention, all right. So. I hate that move, by the way, Lakers. Horrible fucking move. The anyway. On, the only thing I don't like about it is if they really gave up KCP. Yeah. They did. He's a shooter. Why you give him up? Anyway. That's move, the only thing I hate. Moving on because the fucking Lakers are fucking idiots right now. Who runs point? Team. Who runs point? Uh, Westbrook LeBron. will. Westbrook will. He shouldn't. He will. Okay. But he's going to, I guarantee, I'm going to say it here. and You heard it here first. This will be the year where. Russell Westbrook has more assists than he's ever had. Really? Yes. I mean, he played with with you know Harden, so I mean those two point guards right there. I mean, LeBron's a, a different type of. Yeah, this is going to be really, the year he's, where he's he has more. He's basically a point guard and a power forward. Yeah, body he's gonna anyway. have more. He's gonna but, have more assists than he's ever had this year. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So. Giannis's little brother is now. Stop calling that man Giannis. <laughs> Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> you got his last name right, but you can't say his first name. <laughs> right, the, the one name that you're not supposed the to one, get right. The one name that's got every vowel in the alphabet. You can say you, that you, one yeah, right. Yeah. Giannis Antetokounmpo, little brother, had a pre-draft workout with the Pacers. Okay. Uh, they about to have four brothers in the NBA. Yeah, because two of them already in, and they got rings. What in the fuck is in that family's DNA? Hey, NBA crack. Yeah, exactly, exactly. NBA crack. Whatever, NBA whatever, crack. Whatever, NBA crack. Whatever they was doing, they hmm. they did it well. Apparently, yeah. Dude, I, I'm just like. This reminds me of the Jones brothers. So if he goes to the Pacers, I gotta put some money on the Pacers to win championship. Giannis said his little brother is gonna be better than him. That, I'm definitely gonna put some money on him. <laughs> he then. said his little brother is gonna be better than him. That means yes. he, that means he can shoot. <laughs> that means definitely he, he can probably, shoot and he probably can hit free throw. Yes, because Giannis he ain't can't taking do none ten of that seconds shit. on them shit. Yeah. Oh shit. Okay, and that's all I have for sports. Anybody else have anything for sports? No. Okay. No? Okay. Cowboys going to win it all. We're not talking oh. about football yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we got a couple weeks. Yeah, Lamar Jackson has COVID again. That nigga staying in the street. <laughs> the Fucking with them hoes. <laughs> hey, get out the Baltimore streets. Big ass gig in the streets. I love it, Get Lamar. out them Baltimore streets. All right, man. We're about to get into some real shit real quick. Y'all ready for real shit convo? The Reggie, real topic. You want to bring it up? I did I bring I this up? You brought this convo. I don't know. Did if it's I real? real? Yeah, you did. Go ahead. Tell us I mean, what it is. I ain't got it up. Convo. Real shit convo of the week. Okay. A woman was at her best friend's wedding in 2015. Mm hmm. In 2019. She had a wedding. Mm-hmm. She years. married the man, the groom from her best friend's wedding. Hmm. The groom from the wedding that she was at. Yes. Which was her best friend's wedding. So she married her best friend's ex-husband. In all, in all actuality, right? Okay. So th- this brings up a, a lot of fucking... Rabbit holes? Well, not so much rabbit holes, but you got three fucking bullet points right here. Okay. So is she wrong first? 
Oh, that's the one. Okay, that's where, the one. Where you want to start? No, where you want to start? No, that's fine. We can go there first. Is she wrong? Mm-hmm. I'm <laughs> for marrying her best friend's ex-husband. Yes. Ronaldo, go ahead. Hmm. Y'all two are the, are the only two that have been married, so go. I mean, not even. I mean, I guess to even just take it back further, like, have. Do you guys have a friend that dated one of your exes? No. Um. Like, you dated somebody, y'all broke up, and one of your friends ended up dating that person. With that person, I can't recall. No, that's it. I'm just saying that's on an even pettier no. scale. It is a, what that's even pettier. I mean, not pettier scale. No, I mean, as, no, as opposed to marriage. I'm ma- just saying. Marriage is the le- ultimate level of petty. But, that, but no, just, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it goes petty. I'm, so, I'm sorry, smaller dating, scale. Fucking, I'm sorry, smaller scale. <laughs> Talking to, yeah, smaller it's, it's scale. different levels to this shit. So there's that, um, and then would you say is she wrong? Mm-hmm. Is a pig's pussy pork? Is <laughs> the ex? Wow! So is her friend? St- her did her friend pass away? Is she still alive? Oh, that's my next combo, brother. No. So I'm, her friend's alive. <laughs> mm. I'm so happy I sent this. That's to a you. tough one. <laughs> that shit shits you down a fucking rabbit hole. That's a tough one. That's shit. a tough one. I'm gonna say, <laughs> is the friend wrong? I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say the friend's wrong. Oh boy! No, I'm gonna say the friend's wow. wrong. Okay, the friend. Why? Elaborate, brother. I mean, her the friend's happy. She found happiness in her ex husband, in her friend's ex husband. <laughs> okay, so look, I can't say what a straight look, face. Look, 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 look. We're we're I guess in our minds we're painting a bad picture. Let's say they broke up for they got divorced for some other reason. Let's say they got. I'm I wasn't even going there. Let's say they got divorced because you know what. She, she wanted kids he didn't and they decide together that's what i'm saying they okay. got they they broke up they did their own thing yes for two and a half yes. years or whatever yes. right okay here goes the thing in it is is am i supposed to stop my happiness because ronaldo's ex-girlfriend wasn't good for him let's just say they're so go ahead go let's ahead. just say me and ronaldo are brothers Yes. Let's just say, hypothetically, that one of his exes I fall in love with and we are like this. For people that don't know, fingers crossed, like intertwined, like we are good together. This person completes me. I feel like I I complete her. Yada, yada, yada. We're so in love. Life is fucking green. Am I not supposed to do that because it's my brother's ex? Y'all better turn that shit blue. Fuck it being green. Fuck that. (laughs) Fuck your happiness. Okay. Fuck her happiness. You are my best fucking friend. And and I understand that. For for being my best friend, you are my brother. Okay. So 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 that means anybody that you've ever tapped is off limits. No. That means the woman I married and made my wife is definitely off limits. Definitely. And I'm not saying that I would cross. No, you're not. You're cross the streams. But I'm just I'm playing devil advocate here because to me, it's wrong for you to block my happiness. Then, with all these other fish in the sea, I'm blocking your happiness. So I'm not worried about all the other fish in the sea. Obviously, all the other fish in the sea ain't for me. So what that means is how that looks is that you were scoping. You you were scoping the whole time. I understand how it looks, but now I I gotta fight you. But that comes down to a real conversation between us. We ain't boys no more. But why is that though? We ain't boys no more. You have crossed the line. You have crossed. You have crossed a boundary in our friendship. But okay, so what's the boundaries? I didn't dis- disrespect y'all, y'all marriage. Okay, I didn't dis- disrespect our friendship. Mm-hmm. I didn't disrespect you in any way. But you did disrespect our friendship. How you, you disrespected our friendship of someone that I love, that because that I loved or loved, and decided to start a relationship with the both of y'all disrespected that shit. No, yes, no. no. Why? No, because we did not pursue anything until after. Y'all had broke up. Okay. 
So how how do you claim any? That's just like these niggas that be like, oh, that's my baby mama, and I can fuck whenever I want to, mm -hmm. and that's yeah. mine. Yeah, that's different. No, that that's literally what you're saying. No, that's I'm no because, I'm not. Because, so you got claim to something after you have divorced. I'm not, I'm not having claim to it. No, but what I'm saying is there was a code. But there's a code for no, everybody. No. Yes. No, okay, but the code is that I respect your relationship. Okay. And I have done that okay. to my up to my utmost responsibility. Okay. I have done that. Now, if three years after y'all break up, if I see this woman out, hey, check the camera, yeah. and I see this woman out, and I'm on, mm -hmm. and she on, I can't do anything with her. That's you staking claim to something that's no longer I'm not yours. Staking claim to it, but what I'm saying is, as a person who value, if if you value the relationship with your friend, I do. And we, you, you will, I'm I'm using this. I'm using and I get, I, yeah, hypothetical. I get what you're saying. Yeah, hypothetical. If you value our relationship and our friendship, mm -hmm. that would be an automatically no to you. Yes, it is an automatically no when y'all are dating. No, even after even if yeah, a woman, but, if, okay, now a woman. Now let's say it's a woman I dated, a woman I I messed around with back in the day. Man, have at that shit. That's all good. And but a woman I made my wife, mm -hmm. that and let's just say for all intents purpose that I have kids with. Okay. No. So now you step daddy Reggie to the uncle Reggie. I mean, okay. The kids throw uncle a different. The the uncle, kid the kids mm -hmm. throw a different aspect into it. Does it? Yes. Why? Because exactly like you said, like if I I can't go from uncle to to step to, to step okay. I can't do that. Okay. But my thing is, is if if it's bare and it's just you and her. But I made this woman my wife, Reggie. Okay. I uh, made I I at one point in my uh, life, but, I said so. I want to spend the rest so of my life talking, with you. What we're talking about is either titles or feelings. It's it, I think it's a little bit of both. No, but, because because. Okay, so for me and my situation, mm -hmm. can anybody date said whoever now? Yes, free, free and clear. Any one of your friends, you'd be cool with that. I, do you? Wow, because I can't, I can't block that. Okay, I cannot. And you'll be okay with that? I have to be. So now this, per would you still be per friends with this person and have this person and, and want to be around this person? Yeah, because I made a decision at the end of the day. Okay, so you or, can, or we made a decision at the end mm -hmm. of the day. So you can be so. It's a get together. They can come to your house and get to the get together. To my house. It's the, period. It's period. period. That's your, that's your boy. Still, you said you are not going to stop being friends with this person. No, but okay. Can, so you so best friends, right? My best friend. Yeah. Let, let's just say best you, friend. You having your birthday party? Yeah. They coming to the birthday party. And he brings his new girlfriend, your ex, to the party. Okay, you a different motherfucker. No, because I don't, I don't have any claim to that. I can't block you. Don't you don't have no claim to that. But no. I can't block you from but, being happy. But as my boy, I cannot block as, you. As, as my boy, you should have been like, you know what? No, I can't fuck with you. No, no, because because I'm stopping you from being happy, Corey. I can't stop you from being I, happy. You're not if I love you, I want to see you happy. I understand that part. And I want part. to see you with whoever I, I makes totally you happy. I totally understand that part so of what you're saying. If it's, if it's this person, if it's my ex. So with all these other fish in the sea. I, that's not for me to judge all these other exes. Bullshit it. Bullshit it ain't. No. No. It's <laughs> not. Ronaldo, you wouldn't, wouldn't You wouldn't like kind of like be thinking like in the no. back of your mind the no. whole time. Like, no. No. Like, no, like, damn, I wouldn't. like the whole time we was together, so you was. I, I 100%. I bought my girl the whole no. time. No. Thank you. No. That's you what was, I just told you. No. You was kind of thinking about no. getting with my girl the whole time while nope. we was together? No. Nope. Okay. All right, Reggie. I, 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 like, I, I mean, that's, that couldn't be something. Come here, dog. If that's how you feel, that's how you the thought come across my mind, there is a possibility that the thought would come across my mind. But okay. would I react to it? No. Mm hmm. Okay. Because mm -hmm. at that point, I have moved on. All right. Ronaldo? If that, if that, if I mean, if that's how you feel, that's how you feel. I mean, that I guarantee you are a unicorn in this situation. Yes. But yeah. okay, stand on on being a unicorn. Be be the outlier in this situation. Because me personally, if if it's one, if it's especially if it's one of my best friends, if it's somebody that I know, you know, that's kind of no, different. The situation. I mean, I mean, it's. I mean, even even now, it's kind of. 
different you know what i mean mm-hmm. because the person that's with my ex now you know i i know him you know i knew he's him an, he, but he's an acquaintance exactly so he, it was it wasn't like y'all was hanging out like we hang out and shit. right exactly so yes. so it was still kind of a like oh damn i know that dude yes. so it was still kind of a, a little well, vegas is so small a little, exactly body. so it was still kind of a little iffy thing but it was <laughs> people say but, that, but it wasn't I mean, a, but it is though it wasn't a, a big not. issue but it's only small had it, if you're had a whore. It been somebody, had it been somebody... <laughs> I ain't been here for 20 years, so fuck it. Had it you been somebody that, that, I, that I'm close <laughs> with... You, you put in fucking damage while you was here. I would <sighs> I would be a little tight about it if it's somebody that I'm close oh, with. Oh, yeah, very I'm tight. Not, I'm not going to be... I'm not going to sit back Nigga, and be like... don't come to my house no more. And you know what, ex-wife? Don't call me for no fucking help no more. No. And, and marry, even, and marry see, that motherfucker that, so I ain't got to pay see, out no money no more. But that's you, that's you, to me, that's you staking claim to something that's I'm not, not no longer that's, yours. That's not a stake of claim. It's a matter of respect. How it... It's what, a matter of what, respect what between disres- me and my boy. But but the, the question is, where did the disrespect to you jump in? Because you trying to get at my ex. No. I'm not... See, but but that's just it. The my ex. It doesn't you matter. You let this go. There's a code. So just because you let it go, nobody else can touch it? There is a code, Red. What, you know the code? What, you know I, the code? I, I, I you understand know, the code. Down, but my, down, thing left, is, right, my thing is, is like my thing is this, code. this code that everybody lives by needs to be fucking updated. Okay. Why? What do you mean, you why? You live by the code? No, it's not. I live by the code. I definitely have never dated or talked to none of my friends girlfriends but my problem with the code is is it's only respectable to those that respect it okay and then you have the just like i said just because you let it go Mm -hmm. and i've given it it's time to breathe it's everything okay and not to say that i pursued her as soon as y'all got y'all y'all broke up Mm -hmm. i'm talking about years later okay in life yeah everybody has changed Mm -hmm. things have changed situations have changed okay and i find i see her out in the club and we just so happen to hit it off Mm -hmm. now i can't be if i find that this person makes me happy i can't pursue this because you fuck with her back in the day no i was married to her back in the day okay even if you fuck with her is totally different okay so married so, so by your vows then that's yours forever Okay, shit happens. People get divorced. Okay, shit happens. People get divorced. But the code, we go back to the code. What's the code? If I can't talk to your, you can't talk to to no girl that I've ever talked to. Or I've had deep feelings for. Yes. Because yep. why? Because you, my boy. So because and, it I, didn't, and I respect but, that. But your deep my feelings boy, didn't work out for you. But my deep feelings may work out for us, and, and that, we could both be happy. And all of us can be in fucking Jamaica, just peachy I'm not key. going to Jamaica with y'all motherfuckers. See, but that's because of your I'm feelings. I'm not going to Jamaica that's with y'all. That's because of your You going to Jamaica? Mm. That's because of your feelings. Huh? Mm. I'm that's not going to Jamaica. Your no. Feelings, though. It's the point, though. It's the, it's the point, nah, and it's the bro. principle. Nah. I, I, don't, I don't fucking agree. Oh, I mean, I this could, is I where you see, lose me at. I could see it from, from both ways. I could see, This you is know, where you what, lose me at, because Reggie's if you saying. got a divorce, you should be over this shit. I think that... Okay, but hold on, hold on. What if she left me and I ain't want a divorce? What if she left you? What if she left me because she won a divorce and I didn't want the divorce, but now you pursue her? I pursue her years later? See that see that's that's where that's where I then catch I can me kinda I can kinda then, see what Reggie's talking about. So what Reggie's talking about, it's not like it, it's not it's not it's not like she cheated on you with your best friend. No. Yeah. Because no, 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 of no. course that's you know That's wrong. Yes. That's wrong. Yes. That's wrong. But let's just say, you know, five years later, after y'all broke up you know everything settled and like ready to say like hey you know what i'm out the club and i just so run into her and next thing we know we kick it we hit it off we go out to eat we have lunch the next thing you know all of a sudden we're talking every day we start hanging out then guess what we now we're dating Mm -hmm. am i in the wrong for that because she was married to you five years ago is there a statute of limitations no that, see, no, that, see, but that, that's, 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 that's why I say there's, why, there's, why there's, there's not a statute of limitations. No, no, there's not a statute of limitations, but you can't stop me from being happy. No, I can't stop you from being happy. No one can stop anybody from being happy. But you do take with that if that's something you want to pursue, you take you take a chance of 
ruining, losing, ruining, losing our friendship, ruining the friendship. But 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 it's not going to be on my behalf. It's going to be on your behalf. So so yeah, so let, both of y'all. So let's no, just, it's going to be on your behalf. So let's just okay. say, let's just say again, you know, it's hypothetical. So let's just say, just play this, it out like this, it's me and Corey. Well, I'm just saying, let's just say the situation happens. God and, damn it, Reggie, I'm a kid. No 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 no. <laughs> the, you run into you know his ex from five years at the club. Okay. You're not oh, going to. Her, you're not. Okay. I'm just saying. Let's just. <laughs> let's, I'm, I'm saying hypothetically. And then it's, you it's, say it's more like fifteen. But well, I'm, no, I'm, no, I'm, hell it's no. for like fifteen. But anyways, go ahead. Yeah. So, so <laughs> that you run in, you run into this ex. Would you? Because I guess in my mind, the way that I'm playing it out is, hey man, you know what I was out last night? I ran into blah old blah girl. blah. I ran into a girl at the club. Oh okay, how is she? Oh she's fine. You know yada yada yada. I guess the way. From my point of view, if it was me, I immediately would tell that person, like, "Hey, man, I ran right. into, I, I ran, ran into your ex. I ran into blah, blah. We talked we, or whatever. We, we da, hit da, it da. off or whatever. And not because I'm not even going to do all that because I guess in my mind, she's already on the on the block on list. The, no, no, list. so we yeah. can still be cool. We can yeah. still hang out. Okay, whatever. You know, it's nice meeting you. You know, hope to see you soon. Yada yada. yada. Oh well. And it maybe you know if something happened, maybe we exchange number. But let's just say things progress do, do start progressing. Yes. Everything that happens between me I'm and this person, I'm still gonna run it past I'm my partner. I'm still telling him. Exactly. Yeah, I'm still gonna run it past my partner. So it's not that's like what, he's gonna, and that's what I think we weren't discussing. So okay. it's not like Was this like, person's going to be blindsided. At some point, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, bro, she keep on throwing this shit at me." And I am well, not cool like it's not gonna be like it. it's not gonna, gonna be like it. that. It's not like, gonna be like no, it's not gonna no. be that blunt. Well, between us three. Yeah, it's not gonna it be would, that blunt. It may be. But between I'm just three. saying, like, <laughs> hey man, between you know what? Between us three, it me may and be. such so, and such are hanging out, you know, yada yada yada. So, so does it matter if there's a, if, if there is a conversation before this I, happens? I think So I if think, you give if you give me a pass and you tell me yeah? Yeah. And anything else that happens after that, you can't be mad about. Yeah. Okay. I think I think there needs to be a conversation. There, there if, should definitely be a conversation. If we are boys and we are and we are best friends, there should definitely be a conversation. Now, if that person comes to you, Reggie, we're using yeah, me in this situation, yeah, yeah. Um, and I say, you know what, bro, that's not something I'm comfortable with. How would you respond to that? <sighs> And and are we saying that the connection has not been built between me and said well, person, well, or are we well, saying let's, that let's say you, like we're just like uh, you're, we're you're trying, to trying to figure things we're out? Trying to figure things out. And I say to you, Reg, that is something not not something I am comfortable with. Then I would probably did the situation. Okay, all right. Out of out of out of us, yeah, I would did the situation. Okay, yeah, like hey, would, this, I mean, I think you this have shit can yes. and, and I've done it. I've okay. done it. Please believe. Mm -hmm. There has been many of the homies girls that have thrown some ass at me. Mm -hmm. And I've been like, are you just that dude? And I've been like, I, I can't hey, do it. Hey, he that dude. No, it's not. It's not. That it's, it's not. <laughs> he said definitely that dude. No, he said he think he that dude. No, I'm that dude. <laughs> oh, oh, no, he, no, he oh. think he that no. Reggie, single Reggie a motherfucker. Hey, hey. I'm out here. I'm for the streets. Hey, no, no, no pun intended. <laughs> but. <laughs> but oh wait, pun intended. Pun intended. Pun intended. Pun intended. Hey, yeah. pun, uh, anyway, but no, like there, <laughs> there, 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 there has been Punisher. there has been some of some of my friends whose whose girls have thrown some ass at me, and I've playing out told me like, hey, you got a baby by the homie. I can't do it. Did you hit as, it? A, did you as, hit it? A bunnet? As I bunted it, oh. I, I bun, a million times. Okay, I've never smashed one of my my friends. Baby mamas. No, nah, I can't Good do it. Good for you. Bro. No, that's that's definitely a line. I you can't don't cross. do it because I can't be Daddy Uncle Reggie. No, that's a motherfucker. I okay. can't do it. All right, we off this. We good. I, I mean, good. it's, it's, it's that just good, that was a good topic. I've been, I mean, I've been talking for, for an hour and a half for oh, me. Shit. Like girls, but girls live by a different creed. Bro. Very, very, so very. So this is the kind, this is one of those questions that I would like to save until the next time that we have a a female guest. We need to figure out a female guest. Do you feel the, like do on, you feel like and this is going to be really shady but Same. do you feel like women are more grimy in that situation? Ooh. Women are very more fucking Look, this is what I'll say. And I shouldn't say grimy. What do you mean in what situation? That's a bad, in what situation? That's bad to say. In what situation? So in in the like your ex can't come around shit? No, 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 no. The the you guys broke up. I'm dating your ex type of situation. Even think about we all seen manifest, right? 
Yes. Oh God. So, yes. so the one of the main plot lines was the oh, girl. Yeah. No, the best friend. The best friends. The best friend married her, her best fiance. friend's fiance because she. Oh, and then they broke, unquote, like season one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she disappeared. One, she died. Two. Like, yes. oh, she's my best friend. Well, and then they fucking got. He was before. grieving because because the, he because she cop, came back the cop yeah, because yes. she came yeah, back okay. and he wanted to go yep. back, but. Like I feel like it happens more often with women than it does yes. with with men in would, those type okay, of situations. Okay, so 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 it's more or so less I like say, so I shouldn't say grimy, but I mean it like, does okay, happen more so, often so with like, women. More or less like the, we're talking about like the the ex being around thing. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. So so let's, no, like like the like I I guess my question would be to to jump into yours would be like are guys more. Okay, look, here Uh-oh. was my question. Here we go. Let, no, 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 let, let, I'm going yeah, to you know use, use, yeah, you use me. I'm going to use me. No, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use me as an example. Okay, go ahead. Let's just say, let's just say, and and I don't, you know, I'm not, you know. Putting anybody's name Yeah, and I'm mm-hmm. pushing anything. But let's just say me and my girlfriend break up. Aww. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, one of her friends. Jump in your inbox? Mm. I've had that happen to me. So I'm just saying, like, it's not me going after her friend. Her friend's then, coming after me. But yeah. do you, or but, vice versa. Let's just say. But is there? It, but on that on that hand, do you feel the obligation to say, you know what? No. Or or out of respect. Or because just ooh, because, ooh, here, because, ooh, because just because you're not we've hit the other side of because it. Because just just because you're not with her anymore, don't mean you don't respect her. Okay, Corey. True. Okay, Corey. But he brings up a valid question. So if you if you and your Ex wife, hypothetically, in this situation, if Just her ex. friend, if her friend throws some ass at you, and you are you gonna hit it or not? Probably not. No, no, I'm not. I have willpower. <laughs> Fuck both of y'all. I'm not, I'm just, I'm a, I'm I like, heard okay. a deep breath. Right. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I heard it too. No, I'm just, I y'all. was, I was, I took a drink. Yeah, I was yeah. drinking <laughs> on, on that part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I, no, no. Okay, I would not out of, out of respect because even though me and this person are not together no more, I still respect that person. Okay, you know that, what I'm saying, I, and I will agree with that. I, I. I've been down this road yes. also. Yes, I still respect that person. Okay. So no, that's so, definitely not a I guess my question was going to be more along the lines of like if an ex can Okay. So oh my goodness. Where where are we at? Like I it's just time need for to us to cut this off because I feel yeah, like I feel like we is, answered all yeah, the questions. We did. And this is and, and I got one more question I want to come back to and then next but I come back to it next week we'll not 50th episode. All so right. let's let's. Oh, this is gonna be real good. Project gonna be Project here too. Project gonna be here too. Ooh, so yeah. let's I'm gonna the, write this let's, one down. Let's, let's uh let's put a pin, pin in, in it. that one. Okay. That's fine. Um, I have do have one last question for y'all. One now. Okay. It's sundress season. Okay. Right. How y'all like y'all ladies in sundresses? Y'all like sundresses and sandals, yeah, sundresses and heels, sundresses and chucks, sundresses sneakers. I'm out here in these streets uh, for the streets. So. I'm out here in the streets for the streets. Uh, so I love. With my girl wears a sundress. Come on, I'm a big fan of it. Yeah, and I prefer her not to go anywhere when she has on a sundress. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> For reasons uh, I will not disclose. You know, I'm just saying, like, okay, baby, you look good. Why don't you just go ahead and have a seat on the couch? Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Stay here. Core. I tell her all the time. Oh, I'm, like, okay. I'm like, I'm yeah, like, sun- I'm like, where the sundress? Fuck and what do you shoes think you're going? Um. Sundress and what shoes? I, I'm I'm good with Corey, checks. You down? No, you down so, to the shoes? So, so somebody somebody First posted something. Listen, oh, someone posted shit. something on Facebook that made me think, okay. and they were like, "Y'all y'all out here wearing sundress and sneakers?" I'm mm-hmm. like, "Damn, what's wrong with that, Cuz?" Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I, 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 I was like, "Yo, I like my, my I like my wife in sundress and sneakers, and in chucks, sundress and chucks." Okay. I mean, I'm I not, love my wife I'm not a, sundress and chucks. I mean, I love shoes, but I don't have a foot fetish. So whatever she's got on, I mean, I'm good. Right. I, got, I got a foot fetish. So oh, I, lo- I love. Really? I got a foot fetish. Really? Shit, I just cash out my wife some money to make sure that her fucking nails was done and shit. Like, hey, let's go. I you mean, know what I'm saying? That's what anybody does. Yeah. Whenever but anyway, sure. but I like I like my wife in her sundress and chucks, yo. I love okay. it. I I love her in her sundress. Like, I, there's a picture of of me and her um at a wedding back in the day. Well, she got a little. It's not a sundress. It's almost a sundress. 
I guess. Mm-hmm. And she Bang. got her truck selling. I don't fucking, fucking love it, dog. It's just so fucking sexy to me. Mm-hmm. And I don't like her going nowhere in her sundress either. Yeah, no. Because she, she, my wife got that ass. <laughs> that shit. You know what I'm talking about? She got, she got that dunk on her shit. Have a seat. You know what I'm saying? Ray? I'm all for, like, are we saying just sundress season or what do you want to see? Sundress season. Sundre- I'm all for sundress season mm-hmm. because normally sundress season means either no draws oh, or very little draws. Very little. I'm all for sundress season. Yeah. We know that. Mm-hmm. But if, if I had a preference of what I would like to see a woman in, mm-hmm. whoever invented spandex anything. <laughs> 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 I want to give that man some more money. I'm I'm going. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to agree and disagree at the same time. Uh, Only because I feel like spandex Mm. is not properly worn a lot by everybody. By everyone. Exactly. I'm not going. Everybody can't wear wear spandex. But I would. But I would. I will agree. I will agree. You're going to fucking get us some haters on here. I will agree. Hey, I'm all, all I was saying. I'm all, man. Listen, I'm all about body positivity, but I don't want to see everybody in spandex. I'm going How to 100% agree. I don't agree. want to see everybody in spandex. I'll change yes, that. that everybody yes. can't wear. Uh, everybody can't I don't wear spandex. Where to clear that up? Everybody, hey, everybody you know can't what wear spandex. I was just going to say, whoever invented spandex and those lippity biker shorts that fucking girls like to walk around the house in with the boy shorts, sh- that shit. Hmm. To fucking death. You walk by my t- You walk by my Call of Duty screen while that shit is my on. My Call of Duty screen. Call of Duty who? <laughs> like, hey man, I'll be right back. Right, hey man, I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I just got called to some yeah, duty. Exactly. I gotta go. But, <laughs> <laughs> but that shit right there is fucking. That's the fucking weak in the knees shit. Right. But um, yeah, no, like sundress season. Hell yeah, sundress. I don't care what kind of shoes you got on under that sundress. Because nine times out of ten, I'm trying to get under the that sundress. sundress. Yes. Nine mm-hmm. times out of ten. Put that okay. shit on. Ten All times right. out of ten. So, hey, um, episode 50 is next week, y'all. Episode 50. Tune in. We going, yes. Are we going live that one? We're going to go live on that what? one. Um, we're going to be live on Instagram for that one. Um, live, live on Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. We're going to go live on Instagram. We have a special guest next week, our boy Broderick. Um Project friend in, of the family, friend, not necessarily yes, a special not guest, a special guest, but yeah, um, Brock's gonna Brock's be will lot. more than likely end up being that every week. <laughs> he may be like the engineer, even though we don't have an engineer. Yes, he'll probably end up showing up every Thursday, yeah, um, and becoming know. a part of the podcast. He's gonna, we- he, he's, he's gonna will his he's, way in here. He's gonna weasel his way yes. up in here and, and just I, be and, like, hey, and I'm guess here. What? We're gonna be okay with it. He'll be, he'll be, he'll be like, he'll be like Jazz the on Fresh Prince. He'll be yes. like, like yes. Jazz Somebody on Fresh Prince. Somebody you can't get rid of. Like no, like like Jazz would show up, but they'd be like special guests. But then after a while, he wasn't necessarily the special, special guest. guest. No more. Like yeah. like oh, this he is became Jazz part of the show. Yeah, Jazz is here. Yeah, let's write so, him into it. Okay, so thank y'all for listening. Hey, no. for y'all who bought a t-shirt, I was about to say tell the people about t-shirt. For y'all who bought a t-shirt, yeah, we, we really, t-shirt. really appreciate it, man. Um, they. <laughs> We just got another order in, and I think I'm almost out of. I'm already out of double, black double XLs. Get your oh, shirts, you know what? people. Get and we'll, your and, shirts. And you know what? Stay tuned because uh, what's coming up? What's holiday? Halloween is coming up. Yeah. And we will have a limited all, edition. The next Halloween is. I mean, next Halloween. Next holiday is Labor Day. We ain't yeah. got no Labor Day shirt. Sure, we can have a. Okay. Maybe Labor so. Day sale, but even yeah, flash we're gonna sale. have a Labor Day flash sale, I guess. Now you heard it here first, folks. But we will definitely have limited edition Killing Time shirts for, for Halloween yes, season. Will. Yes, so limited run. Stay tuned to our Instagram, Facebook, Facebook Twitter, Twitter. Yes, anything that you can find us on. Right for when those will be ready for purchase. Because there will be a limited run of those, and you may be a limited owner of a t shirt. You will be. And so if yeah. you have ordered a t shirt and you have worn it, please take a picture and send it to please, us. Please, man. Please. And we thank we y'all for the support, love man. To big y'all up the support on the, on has the, been the amazing. On everything. Yes. So, well, y'all got anything else, man? Y'all good? Viva Las Vegas! Viva Las Vegas! Corey, you still ain't ate yet either. I have not ate and I'm hungry as shit. Hey, Corey gonna be passed out in the bathroom. <laughs> man, I had two of these shows. Yeah, man. Hey, thank y'all for listening, man. It's the Killing Town Boys, and we got out. Yeet! Yeah.